Live. Hey everybody, it is Sunday night, it is the top of the fourth wall, plays Pokemon Infinite Fusions. Here I am, farther down, the camera is, is pushed down. If you saw it on Twitter, in case you didn't see it on Twitter, my office chair back there, my 24-hour chair, that I usually sit in for long periods of time, because, you know, I lead a sedentary life writing reviews and editing them, uh, has finally given up, the, is finally giving up the ghost, like I can lean forward on the thing and it feels like the chair itself is... Yo, collapsing. It was already starting to slowly fall apart. Just because the, uh, uh, just because, like, the armrests were slowly peeling off, the, the fabric on the cushioning was coming off, so some of the cushioning itself was removed. It's not as comfortable to sit in. I need a replacement chair, but that's, like, $300. Yikes. So, because it's not, like, because it's not, like, uh, uh, comfortable to sit in, I instead moved my comfy chair over. My comfy chair is much lower to the ground. <laughs> so, like, if I hadn't adjusted, you'd see, like, the top of my head, and that's pretty much it. And if you're going to spend $300, you're probably going to say put that money to a 3D printer. That's right. I could buy yet another 3D printer instead of a, instead of a chair. You could 3D print yourself a chair. Hmm. I want to advise against that. I don't know. It, it just sounds... You shut the hell I up! I need more it's 3D printers! 3D, it's fine. Speaking of, as a reminder, uh, you should get yourself a Comicron 1 model now available. Speaking of Comicron 1, mine came in! Hey, what'd you think of it? Hmm, I don't know. The texture of it, it, it was good. <laughs> Although I will say, like, I, I need to figure out how to, uh, like, attach the bottom piece. I have to just glue that in, don't I? Yeah, you have to glue glue them in, unfortunately. I, there's, originally, the plan was that a lot of this was going to be be in pieces to make it, and just like, you know, like any regular model kit that you just glued all the pieces together, there'd be pegs to, like, line everything up properly. It didn't work out. Like, even like, like even the even the, the underside towers were supposed to just peg in, but and you could, mm -hmm. like, glue it in later. But unfortunately, for some reason, I kept adjusting the size, kept adjusting the size. It was not fitting in properly and not printing properly. So I was just like, you know what, screw it. The big rectangular area, you can just glue that in. It's supposed to be on a stand anyway. Th that's fair. Oh, yeah, I, I forgot to introduce. Uh, joining us this evening, we got Minsby. Hello, I had to grab my microphone. It's all good. We got Lotus Prince. Good evening. And when you said, by the way, that you this is your 24-hour chair, I really wanted an excuse to use sedentary, but then you beat me to it. Yep. And we've got uh, got uh, Zandrew. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Indeed. So yeah, we got we got a fun crew with us tonight. We're gonna be playing some Pokemon. Sorry, we had to take last week off. I was busy trying to get the April Fools' video done with. 
Uh, I had to delay the stream by 15 minutes today because, unfortunately, di uh, dinner was just not cooking properly. We got it done. It was a pork tenderloin. It tasted delicious. There you go. By the way, what club of crafty and horrors are we making today? Let's find out. Let's switch over to the game. By the way, the Marvel vs. DC review script is done. I'll probably film that tonight or tomorrow. My sleep schedule's all over the place. Like, I woke up at what? 7 p.m. It is now 8.20. What is sleeping? Oh, I sleep. I just sleep at weird hours. Benjamin Hall, I met a Mr. Wheeler once in a night court. He never had a house, much less a chair. All right, we were playing uh, Guess That Fusion. Also on that sleep comment. Also on that sleep comment. Go, go ahead. I'm sorry. Colors. Also, you can complete all the hotel quest in Saffron City. Excellent. Yes. Do we want to go do that? Yeah. Also, if you on a Saturday, you can also start another quest at the nightclub. Ooh. Also, um, Makara, like the Shadow Reaper says, are you up to date? Because six point one point three. I saw I the I saw the, uh, the 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 earlier message about that. Uh, I am not up to date. I decided after our after the shenanigans last month that I was going. I that I didn't, especially because we had to delay the stream anyway. That I was going to hold off on updating just yet. So we will. So right now we're still on six point zero point five. So we will get to 6.1, and we'll do all those legendary quests later. Even then, today we should do so. We should advance the story a bit. That sounds like a good idea. Like I can't remember. Did we take on Sabrina? I'm pretty sure we did. We did we did? I believe you did. Yeah. So we should probably we start heading butt. towards Cinnabar Island and stuff like that. We're, but let's go do. Sabrina... Let's go do the quest. Uh, do the hotel quest just to get those out of the way first. Was Sabrina the teleport dungeon? Yes. Okay. Yeah, you definitely did that. Okay, yeah, you're gonna need to grab, grab a pit up. We got a what? What? Piplup, you're gonna need to grab that one out at the I hotel. Need Piplup out, okay. I also didn't realize this was a thing. Also, me need to unfuse them. It's I did my test and it you have to have it unfused. That is that is ridiculous. Oh yeah, and like the Shadow Reaper says, whenever you do decide to update, uh, the six point one bugs appear to be gone. I'm I'm still wondering if the uh, the shenanigans last time were because of like a Windows issue rather than an infinite fusion issue, but either way, yeah, better not to rock the boat right now. <laughs> yep. Uh, do we know how what what level this this fossil guy is? Not a clue. Hey, what? Let's see. I just noticed I just noticed this way into into Saffron City, and there's like a restaurant here, so I was like. Eh. All right, where's the hotel? Was there a stream last week? No, there wasn't. As I said at the beginning, I canceled that one so I could focus on the April Fool's Day video, which I hope you guys enjoyed. It was my parody. And a parody is probably the wrong word. It was my video in the style of Brandon Tenold and Brandon's cult movie reviews. Did a re review of a terrible movie. Uh, it's a terrible, a not that great movie called The Murder Mansion. Check out the review. I think it was funny, but I'm kind of biased. What also, you? Light, Surely light you says, just. Yeah. Also, Light says the the issue might have been a, or probably was like a OneDrive issue, which makes sense. I I've been bitten by that before. <coughs> All right, we got the box link, so we can use that to grab a Sinnoh Pokemon. We have Sinnoh Pokemon, I'm pretty sure. Like, in fact, let's do it from. I forgot about some of these. Do it from the retirement box just to make our lives easier. Also, we should buy some more regular, like, like splices and whatnot. Also, man, the thing is running really slow when it's trying to grab the trades. That's a great Infernape uh, uh, sprite. Uh, Benjamin oh, Hall says, since you didn't get the reference to Night Court, breakfast is ruined. I, yeah, sorry. I've all, I only know of Night Court. I've never actually watched Night Court before. Yeah, I've never watched Night Court. Like, the first I've ever heard of Night Court, as stupid as this is going to sound, is from the 1980s movie The Dungeon Master. It's a goofy fantasy-style movie. Oh, I know The Dungeon Master. I love it. But the back of the uh, the box, when I rented it at the video store, said, like, oh, it has Richard Mole. Y you know him from Night Court. I was like, I'll take your word. <laughs> I know Richard Maul, and I know, and and, and I and, and while I don't know him specifically from Night Court, I know of Richard Maul. Yeah, I've seen him in I've seen him as a villain in two fantasy things, but I've never seen Night Court. 
But he was the villain in the Dungeon Master. He was yep. Mistima. What an odd, I odd movie. That movie. Uh, what an odd, <laughs> odd movie that movie is. I love it. It's like seven different skits because it's like seven different writers. Man, I forgot we could swap out, but we wanted the fire type at the time. Oh, and Mike Manhattan is saying, wasn't Tom Hanks in that movie? No, Tom Hanks was in Mazes and Monsters, which was like an anti-D&D propaganda movie. And Cooper Ross, yes, the Dungeon Master is actually where I reject your reality and substitute my own comes from. Indeed, weird, isn't it? It's, I, like, everyone started throwing that phrase around on, like, Facebook one year, and I was like, no way everybody knows about this movie. There's no way. And it turns out, no, it was Mythbusters. Yep. Spoiler free thoughts. Captain Adventure 1993. Spoiler free thoughts on Godzilla vs. Kong. It was fun. I really enjoyed it. I still think uh, Kong Skull Island and, and and Godzilla King of the Monsters are better. But but they just really. But then again, those movies are just really so well crafted versus the other ones, which are just you know, fun popcorn flicks. And you know what? For what they're supposed to be, like you know, giant monsters fighting each other, that's what they need to be. And I enjoy them immensely. It's, it's that weird dichotomy of Godzilla movies, because you have the super serious stuff, as we saw with Godzilla Minus One, excellent film, just an amazing one. And then on the other side, we have the goofy Godzilla movies, which, you know, take themselves seriously enough, but they also recognize, this is you, you just want to see the giant monsters punching each other. We've been wanting that since 2014! Yep, yep, yep. But even the 2014 but Godzilla, you know, had the fighting. Sure, it didn't have enough of it, but it was still, uh, but it still had it. And thank right, God right. we had an opponent. And of course, there's, I still, you can still go back to the, the moment when he uses the thermonuclear breath, and it's just that memorable a moment. Oh, absolutely. Like, on Netflix, I actually rewatched it, and I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot how good this movie was. Alright, someone said that we need Piplup? Yeah, Minsby said that. Alright, so let me defuse the Piplups. You know what, uh, I'm gonna, Cleodora. since it's Super Splice are more, more expensive, I'm gonna go and get us some uh, DNA splicers. All right, Cleodora Silvestri says, question for Ninja Style Dancer. Did you personally train the three ninja dancers at 115 in Total Eclipse of the Heart, and were they completely unnoticed by the director and crew until years later? Uh, ninja Style Dancer is nodding. Yeah, I was going to say, he doesn't talk. And Benjamin Hall says, uh, Brent Spiner was Mr. Wheeler. Yep, also I am aware of that. That's how I first heard of Night Court. I don't, oh wow! I didn't even realize I I like I used up all our money there. What else do we have that we can sell? Do we have this any where we can do that. We can get rid of. This is where we can do that exploit thing uh, everyone keeps talking about. Uh the exploit has been patched out, unfortunately. Oh. Yeah, rip. <laughs> sell free nuggets. There we go. Else. Man, looking back at it now, I'm actually glad that, like, uh, future Pokemon games actually separated the treasure thing away from everything else. That way, like, you could actually sell the items without worrying about worrying uh, about not keeping it kind of thing. Oh, Light the Shadow and, Reaper says it has not been patched out. He still has it. I, it might be that I still have it because I haven't updated yet, so I might have the infinite money right now. Yeah, but Light the Shadow Reaper says that he has it as well, and I think he's current. Uh. Wait, Benjamin Hall, I only read so I'd rather they had patched that out. Ah, well, in any case, let's, uh... Let us get Hall, our... I'm pretty sure I read your whole super chat. It said, also want lamp fit. I covered that. <clears throat> but Light There Shadow Reaper is still there in 613. Uh, oh my gosh. All right, unfuse using the regular DNA splicer. Wait, 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 wait. You don't need that one. What? We don't need Piplup? Oh, I, that was for the Santa one. I forgot you had Infernape. Ah, okay. Then let us go back here and see what else we got for quests. Yep, this is the eight Growlithe. I know about that. And I, and yep, that's that's easy enough. I know how to do that. That's easy enough to do. All right. I know about this one, too. Do we have any rare bones? I'm pretty sure we we sold all of them. Uh, 
Okay, we do not have we do not have rare bones. We got to go do some rock smashing. All right, I think we do we have rock smash or or do we have a hammer equivalent of it? We have a hammer equivalent of it. All right, if I recall correctly, because I watched the Good Time Zone video, I think it's along this road that we run into Kecleon, which is probably transformed into something else. Yeah, the way for you to run into something, you'll find it. Yep. But yeah, Gekleon usually has like a, a line pattern on its body, doesn't it? To distinguish its uh, invisibility. Yep. It's only on the east side. Only on That's the east side. Gekleon's east side story. Uh, I also found it like up, up a little bit last time. Like in those two pathways. Oh! Found it, but then it, just, but then it moved, I guess. Oh, an invisible Pokemon is in the way. Touch the what? Pokemon. And now you don't have a hand anymore. The Pokemon attacked! Uh. Mm. A Togetic, I... which we have already caught before. But can you stand up against my castle? My literal castle? I'm pretty sure we don't have to catch it, right? We just have to defeat it? You can even run away, you bull. Yeah, it. but it's free experience, so it might as well. Your wish Wait. will not be granted. Jokes on you, I wish to lose. Yeah, still oh, a catch, but I don't but I don't need it. Yeah, as a fixed encounter, we could theoretically catch it, but I don't think we need it. We got we got we got plenty of other Pokemon. I'd prefer to find new fusion new new Pokemon we haven't caught before for fusions. If Lakara could have his way, every fusion would be fused with Bulbasaur. Of course. Also, you know, let's uh, let's save some time here. We'll go and uh, take care of the of the uh, Growlithe stuff first. Now. There you go. There's two on either side, so we just have to find the Growlithe around here and in the grass and stuff. There's one over there. Just one here. Nope. Woof woof. Puppy. And there's the other one. So Growlithe's bark like regular dogs? Yeah. Because Growlithe, Growlithe is like one of the first dog Pokemon. In fact, I recall yeah, Mistress Doom, uh, she, on some of her streams, she was doing a dog-only run for all the games. And, oh, and, and with and with uh, red and blue, she only could like, she could only use Growlithe. Yeah, I was going to say, like, wow. I think it's the only dog of that era. All right, next up, we'll go down south, grab the Growlithe there. Gen 1 Growlithe oh, could wrong. not learn Growl. Wow, how embarrassing. I think Lickitung couldn't learn Lick. But, uh, huh. Yeah, I know, right? I mean, that seems like I mean, a good night. I mean, to be fair, Lick is a uh, ghost type move, so which I is also get weird, it. just because they needed ghost types. Also, you can now go to Crimson City. Yep, I'm aware of that. Crimson City has not really appealed to me, considering it's it, it, it's it's the fan made content that uh, that mostly references Pokemon memes and stuff like that. So just like, eh, I don't see any big reason to go there. We could, and I think we're over leveled for it, so we don't have to worry about like uh, like anyone dying. But still, but there's also an opportunity to get new Pokemon from from all the grasses. You're you're right there. We could do that. But I want to at least get us to Cinnabar Island because we have because we have like held off on going to Cinnabar for a while now. Doesn't Eevee count as a dog? Eevee is a fox. So it is technically canine, but it's not, but but it's a, you know, but it's a dog. But sorry, but it's not a dog. Oh, good lord. Uh, when I got uh, Pokemon uh, Let's Go Eevee, uh, I named my Eevee uh, Mozilla after the Firefox thing. Nice. Oh, cute. So I'm assuming you went Flareon then? Uh, no, no, the Eevee I got... Uh, was the starter Eevee, so 
I, I kept it as an Eevee, and I just kept it as Mozilla. Ah, oh, neat. All right. That's all the growls. We can fly back, or we can go and get the and, and get the rare bone. Condor is just straight up a Doberman. Mm. So uh, get the rare bone so we can save us a trip. Fire Tower V says, first, before reading second, did you finish Pokemon Scarlet Epilogue DLC? If not, don't read the second part. Okay, have you finished I the Pokemon I have not finished Scarlet the second part yet. And never mind. And never mind about the second half of that chat. It's fine. I finished the I finished the uh, the teal mask. I have not finished Indigo Disc because uh, I've had too much. Because much like the game itself, I had too much fun just exploring around. I haven't actually gotten to the story yet of it. Yeah, I know that feel. That's that's me when I play Yakuza. All right, let's smash some rocks. Get us a rare bone. Wait, Crimson has her own city. This is contractually obligated to let Lincar in. It's like Emerald City, but it's Crimson City. Yeah. Mm. Jelly also getting infinite money from from the Rock Smash too. Yeah, fair enough. Left Outlook open. Let me close that. Boom. Uh, Gojira Gon says, now that we know the name of the recent awful Amazing Spider-Man storyline, Dead Language, will you review it, or will it need, or will it need a, a patron to do so? It will need a patron to do so. I know nothing about it, so I don't know what. So I don't know what's so terrible about it. Yeah, I never heard of this. Unless, unless, again, this, I'm, unless I'm, this is the uh, uh, the one where, uh, where, where where Kamala Khan dies, quote unquote. Oh, that was the one where they like set it up with that comic cover and then like. Um, did it in five minutes because that's how comic books were. Yeah. Like, when was the last time a death mattered? Like, Superman in the 90s, where they actually kept him dead for a while? The thing is, they didn't keep him dead for that long. It was always assumed he would come back. Well, we knew he would, but it wasn't, like, an issue. <laughs> it, or, like, you know, the, the Batman v Superman, and then he's back in the next movie. It's like, he hasn't been dead five minutes. Like, what is this? Batman dying, I, th I think, was actually treated as a big deal. I think he was dead longer. Okay. Because, like, they treated it pretty appropriately, and they had, you know, Dick Grayson take over, and actually, the dynamic was really fun with, with, with the more fun-loving Batman, and there we go, Rare Bone, and the, <laughs> uh, and the, and this super serious Damian Wayne. Olinkara, have you ever reviewed X-Men Giant Size number one? I have not. Okay, because that mod said he was looking for it on your channel, didn't see it, so well, there we go. Yep, sorry, I've never done Giant Size X-Men number one. That's the uh, that's that's the one when they I think I think when they relaunched the X-Men you know, after the original series ended. Yeah, all the growlers. Oh, went. Gojira, Gojira Gon says Kamala's death was only part of it. There's so much more uh, awful in that book. Yeah, there's you a whole uh, uh, Mary Jane married to some dude. Oh, was this what's his name? The guy who's like Peter Parker, but not. He's just some other guy, and he's just like they just nobody wants him there, and he's just always there. Is that that guy? I can't remember. I didn't. I didn't actively read it, so yeah. I remember seeing people complain about this this other guy who's just there, and like, right. why are you writing this? No one wants him here. Yeah, like, Paul. Paul. Yeah, multiple people in chat. Paul. <laughs> uh, time to go to Cinnabar Island. Everyone hates Paul. I don't know what, the, what there is to hate about him other than his presence, which, yeah, I can understand that. All right, so, yeah, yeah we uh, we, defeat, we only need one more quest. Paul, but not Paul. Uh, and Jedi Protector says, would you ever review Brightest Day, the reverse to Blackest Night? Uh, the thing is, Brightest Day is like, is a week, was a bi-weekly series, so it's like 20 plus comics. Oh. Uh, uh, Grant Morrison wanted to tell five more years of, of, uh, uh, you know, Damien, uh, you know, the, the, of Batman dead stories, but then he like, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, new route. New yeah, plans. And, they and, they and, 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 and DC told him to bring him back. Of course it did. Uh, uh AJ, AJ Drucken, Canine, Canid Pokemon Gen 1, Growlithe, Arcanine, Vulpix, Ninetales, Eevee, and its evolutions. Yeah, but we're not yeah. talking about, you know, you know yeah, like that. Foxes are canines, but, 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 and her, but her run was dogs only. And dogs and canids, dog, it's much like how every poodle is a dog, but not every dog is a poodle. Okay, and Lankara, the, the presence is apparently it. Like, it was mainly to double down on keeping Peter and MJ apart. I hate, I hate everything. I hate everything so much. Uh, Bobby, we'll put you up front. 
I'm glad I stopped we catch actively on Route 21 following. In the grass. I'm glad. I'm glad I stopped actively following Spider-Man like somewhere in the 2000s because apparently it's just like be right back, people. Trading for everybody. <laughs> oh, I forgot. I we heard, have the Poke Radar. Heard, Let's see if we can heard, find out what's in this area. If there's anything new to catch. Uh. Yeah, it looks like there's some new stuff we can get here. Theoretically. Oh, uh, we already had a snubble. Yeah, Brightest Day was an actual series. It was uh, done... It was uh, Brightest Day and Justice League Generation Lost that were taking place at the same time right after, Bra after Blackest Night. Radar doesn't work. Oh, the radar doesn't work? Maybe the radar doesn't work. Oh, a shell gun. Sweet. Do a quick ball. Uh, surprise, your latest compilation upload with Sandman. I thought you said next time it was going to be Psy Spy. Uh, it's possible that I did say that at some point, but like the, the Sandman compilation required a lot less work to put together. Also, nice catch. Got a lot of when a quick ball works. Yeah, nice. Yeah, Shellgun's great. I suspect the randomizer messes with the radar. It's a good sprite, but we also got this this jumpy one, which I kind of like. I do kind of like that one, yeah. Yeah, little glaring face, I kind of like that. But let's go with jumpy. Doesn't actually tell you what's in the grass. The Endurance Pokemon. It hardly eats while it awaits evolution. It becomes hardier by enduring hunger. Its shell peels off the instant it begins to evolve. Up eats. Alright, let's see what else we can get in this grass. AJ Drock and Mistress Doom must have been so happy with all the dogs featured in Scarlet and Violet, especially with their precious Hound Hour. Indeed. And Danny Fenlon says, they did discover a fox-dog hybrid IRL, so yeah, I'd count Eevee if they are that genetically close. Eh, I mean, I'm... the canine classification, like I said, but it's not a dog. Yeah, it's like saying humans are apes. Like, no, they're both primates, but they're not the same thing. Yeah. Rare is pointless in a random zone because it randomized the icons separate from the actual mods. Oh, that's that's lame. We got the entire reason we got the Poke Radar was so that we could detect, you know, if, they, if there was something we hadn't caught yet in the grass. This episode of Pokemon is brought to you by the letter A. Like it was the entire reason, and also I don't know what the what the shiny what, what, what going shiny like that means. Still a Larvitar, I'll take that. Reminds me of a uh, imperfect cell. <laughs> what could possibly remind you of imperfect cell? Ah, damn. You know, when I, back when I played um, Budokai on GameCube, I was very confused uh, that all three forms of Cell had the same voice. Uh, and it turns out in Japanese, good. they all have the same voice. Ah. All right, so good. fortunately it, it paralyzed itself. we got a bunch of Pokeballs. I want to catch this because Larvitar line is great. And Larvitar with, 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 uh, uh, with, with eventually Salamence. That'd be great. It, it was so like making a proper dragon. Yeah, but it was so disorienting hearing Perfect Cell cast Kamehameha with like the Imperfect Cell voice, but then when you used his like cinematic move, he spoke in the Perfect Cell voice. Like, what is happening? Oh, that's, that, that's lame. Uh, Gojiragon says there was a whole what did Peter Parker do thing in the book when what he did was nothing. There's also stuff involving children, which, ugh, I'll take your word. Yeah, I know that there, uh, like, like, I think it was. Because originally, I think, uh, you know, obviously, you know, I'm only hearing about the second hand. I know the whole malice thing, I want to say. Like, like, when they had what was supposed to be, like, uh, uh... Let me find a good Larvitar sprite here. Got a few nice ones. The front-facing one, I'm not really that fond of. This one is neat, but 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 I prefer a cuter one. This one's all right. It's, you know, standard Game Freak one. This one just feels slightly off. I'm not sure why. Yeah, I think we'll just go for the classic Game Freak sprite. With Clink Lang as a head, you can make the Pokemon equivalent of Mega Godzilla. Mm. That is true. All right, let's save real quick here. Dark Dragon or Rock Dragon is a cool combination. Indeed. All right, Lavatar Bagon is Bahamut. Very nice. Uh, yeah, the whole because they were supposed to be implying that like uh, 
it was Harry Osborn who was killed but then resurrected in for, thanks to One More Day. But like you know, that it was a clone. There was a whole separate th that, that like it turns out the Norman Osborn who was brought back in One More Day was actually a clone or something like that. So the original Harry was like you know you know back as a demon and pissed off about it. Jesse Springer, what is religion like in Pokemon if Arceus exists? Uh, I wonder if, uh, like, people know about Arceus for the wider world, because there is a church. There's actually a cathedral in Gen 4, which is so weird, because it doesn't do anything. It doesn't contribute to anything. There's no story-based stuff there. There's just a church there. So what did I miss? Uh, not much. We're talking about Spider-Man, and I caught a Larvitar and a Bat and a Shellgon, so we're going to fuse those together. But yeah, regarding um, DBZ Budokai, like it was a programming thing because they didn't have different sets of voices nice. for the three forms of cell because in Japan there's only one voice. So this is what we had to work with. Sound <laughs> Tyrantor uh, options are Rock yeah. Flying or Dark Dragon. Uh, I'm assuming it's going to be, you know, we have Rock Dragon right here. It's, it's one with the custom sprite, so I think we're going to go with that. We can always reverse it if we ever have to evolve it. Then the AI Harry reveals he fooled Norman into believing he slept with Gwen with Mysterio. Yeah, it, 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 it retconned the, the, uh, uh, it retconned and, uh, what's it called? Uh, since, since past. Like, cause, cause everyone seems to say, like, everything was hinted at trying to reverse Brand New Day, but, uh, uh both have customs, do what you want. It, 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 like, like, all the hinting was for reversing Brand New Day, but no, instead they reversed Sins Past. But, you know, kudos for reversing, for, for fixing that, but you did it in such a convoluted, goofy way. Oh, like, Mysterio, y y like, like, appeared as, as Mary Jane's therapist to convince her what happened. Just, like, the levels of unnecessary things, just because you wanted to retcon a bad story, instead of just pretending it didn't happen. A brand newer day. That's cool. It kind of looks like a pumpkin. It's a pumpkin or a basketball. Larvae Elgon. All right, we need a name for Larvae Elgon. Yeah, well, they want your idea of making them clones. Yeah, because it's an obvious one. It hardly eats while it awaits evolution. It must eat its way through the soil above and reach the surface for it to see its parents' faces. What? We've got Rockhead and Guts boost attack as a status problem. Uh, I think Rockhead is probably be a better effect, though Guts I can see having some utility. Plus attack minus speed, plus speed minus special attack. I'm pretty sure we're a physical attacker, so brave. But yeah, you are. We are. Well, actually, you you have a. Well, at the end of it, and check the stats, but you are kind of a dual ta attacker. Then I'm inclined to go get rid of speed because I think we're going to be fine. Rockhead, Pumpkin Rapper, Bahamut. Yeah, but you're mostly an attacker. Bass guitar, bass guitar, Pumpkin. It's, Jack O' Lantern, Mr. Bombastic, Pumpkin it's, Spice. His base attack is 84. His base special attack is 50. Hmm. Jack O' Worm, Jack Azilla. Both these guys are physical. Salamence might be fast, though. Uh, combine movesets. Chip away. We can get rid of focus energy for that. Rock slide. Let's get rid of what's head better headbutt or strikes continuously. Oh uh, yeah, I think Chipway is actually worse than Rock Slide. Uh, scary face we don't need. Neutro, Goji Spice. I like Pumpkin Bomb. Even though when it evolves, it's not gonna have that name anymore. Why you not just put it as Green Goblin or something? I like Pumpkin Bomb. We're going to always rename it later. Yep. Halloween. -y. All right, let's see what we got in the water then. Those trainers along the way. Uh, Bobby is good, though we should probably level up everybody else first. But we'll see. What do we got in the water? Water, water. Come on, water Pokemon. We already got Pawniard. 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 So like I said, pawn nerd. It's a pawn nerd. Is that Sandcastle Pokemon? Yes, but we already caught one of the, the Palace Sands before. I'm pretty sure they were they were not randomized. Salamis pumpkins. Oop. 
Remember when David S. Pumpkins made us so happy? Oh, wow. You know, I feel like the, uh, like, uh, the sketch. Like, the sketch is okay. It's just fun to see Tom Hanks having a good time. Yep. They were, but all sandcastles would be the same. Uh, Benjamin Hall, who has the worst problems? You with Bulbasaur or Marvel with clones? I, well, obviously Marvel with clones, because I don't have a problem. <laughs> I can stop obsessing with Bulbasaur anytime I want. Of course. I just don't want to stop. <laughs> I'm not ready yet. I'll tell you. Here's what goes through the car's brain on. Bulba, 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 Bulbasaur, Bulbasaur, Bulbasaur. So many Pawniards in the water. They must have, they must have like specifically replaced Pawnee a tentacle with Pawniard. I caught all my Pokemon at sea. Well, hopefully you have you have more than just Pawniard. Yeah. Okay, Carvana and Ampharos. Well, for cool Seth, you only get have two Pokemon, Tentacool and Tentacool. Yeah. All right, so that will be water. Sorry, uh, dark electric or water electric. The two component Pokemon. What was that? What are the two component Pokemon? Carvana and Ampharos. Carl Detlinger, I really, you really changed my opinion on Bulbasaur. I didn't care from at first. Now I love water him in electric. The top five. Good for you. Water electric. Water electric. Uh, so, drill run would probably be neutral at the very least. Let's give it a try. Hey, very good. I can't never remember if water resists ground or not. Schumann's another Salamence one. Uh, so what's so Shuppet and Salamence. Shuppet and Salamence, which would be. Uh, Ghost Dragon? Ghost Dragon, which... Ghost Flying! Ghost Flying? Oh, then, 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 then Chumance is in for a bad day. Oh, it's, uh, uh... That's awesome. It's Shuckle! So, Bug Flying! Rockslide. Yeah, Rockslide we should be fine, because I keep I keep forgetting we're not bug, we're not we're not flying with Bobby. He's electric poison. It's just we instinctively think, oh my god, the B drill part is gonna be weak to rocks. We'll probably take on more trainers later, but I want to get us a Cinnabar and you know, catch anything in the water. Any items, of course. Whoop. A pearl. We got a diamond and a pearl now. We get a black okay. pearl. No. Up, oh, Cinnabar Island. We're here already. <laughs> right on the that coast. Yeah, wow. What a hostile place. Could have had missing number. I. The thing is, I, I don't know if missing number is actually in the game. I, I assume it's a Porygon fusion or something like that. But, like, they tried to do... Like, the Good Time Zone tried to do the missing number trick to see because they have figured it would be included in here but no like like the the man who teaches you to catch isn't isn't there anymore technically he's a ditto now who morphed into a shuckle you you have a oh uh, much more, more variety of pokemon you got a i got a couple more pokemon when you step in santa bar island hmm. earth power Ooh. We have we have a uh, who do we have that has a great special attack for Earth Power? Yeah, Mar Mar Maroxorus. Uh, special attack not as good. Yeah, Sarita would be the other one, but her, but her special attack is actually not great. Uh, hmm. Silent Hill, if they could learn. Well, we already learned Earth Power. Never mind. Now, if Angry Bird could learn Earth Power, that would be too terrible. But I like our move set. our special attack. Our special attack is actually good. If Bobby could learn it, that'd be better than Drill Run. 
Uh, if they do, if this does use Fire Red Leaf Green as its base, then it makes sense that Missy Never wouldn't be in there. No, the thing is, this is this is a custom game from the ground up. So while they use Gen Three sprites, oh, Bobby's not able to learn it. And while it uses Gen Three sprites and whatnot, it is not Gen Three. Beneath the seas, besides the flame off the coast where the lost beast came, to bring the world misery and shame, a piece of the world is missing. All right, we already have splicers, reversers. Okay, so there's something else we got to check out here that I am not counting uh, for, for Nuzlocke rules because there's a there's an interesting thing here. We can get infinite, fu we can truly get infinite fusions. Basically, uh, that we can get an item that gives us infinite DNA splicers. Uh, the problem is you have to defeat a, a, a robot trainer with it who's designed, and it's designed to be like, yo, not easy exactly, but like you have to like strategize to defeat it. I don't think it can kill you, but it's designed to stall you out. Gojira gone. Kamala was called in dead language intentionally for shock value. The kids were living letters in dirt that MJ insisted were real. She still thinks this is this. Yeah. Fans for videos videos beneath the seas besides the flame. Human. Got some more uh, hyper potions. So I am not counting that battle as per Nuzlocke rules because it's not designed because like it's designed to be difficult, but we don't know if the randomizer has re has has removed it or changed it in any way. Oh yeah, I should buy more Ultra Balls. There we go. The cardboard cutout out sign in the Goldenrod department store. Yeah, something like that. No, that's not about it. Well, it's scientists. There they are. Okay. Coy McLeod, Halen Carr, big fan, and been a minute since I've seen been on a stream. Hey, hope you're enjoying. We're gonna do a thing here. I study rare Pokemon fossils. Okay, we got the fossils too here. Uh, we got the skull fossil. We can revive that. Oh, we got a Flaffy. Okay. All right, so I think we could we could fight that other fossil guy in a uh, saffron to get another one to fuse with it. You need to do one more battle battle first before it becomes accessible. Okay, so we can't do that just yet. Wow. So you know what? Let's go back to we we we've gotten Cinnabar now as a fly location. Let's go back to Saffron, fight that other scientist for the for the fossil, and we'll get a fusion out of it. Did we get uh, Chaos Nightmares chat? Uh, Chaos Nightmares. It's it's the Vaporeon copy pasta, and then acknowledging that it's just that. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, 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 Chaos Nightmare, I'm letting you get away with this now because because you've cut yourself off there. But bear in mind, NSFW stuff, even jokey NSFW stuff, is not permitted on the stream. <laughs> I would I would have been less kind if I was watching the chat as much. Yeah, just bear in mind, just bear in mind, chat. We do enforce the rules around here. I like to be nice, but but. And if you're not aware of the Vaporeon copy pasta, you're look a very, you, not you are not up. as online as the rest of us. Don't look it up. Thank For God, the love of God, keep your sanity. All right. Hopefully, this guy is not too strong. Adamantium I clarity. And they have a Arceus and a Darkrai. That would be terrible. All right, we got Weuk. Who we could potentially kill with Bobby. My worry is that it has self-destruct. Oof. So I think Silent Hill would probably be better here. Also, Coy McCloud, Adamantium Rage! See, Adamantium Rage should be a session, one of my sounds, too. Get that for the soundboard. So then right. you uh, can Earth that. Oh, yeah, we got Earth Power. Sweet. Weezing and Mug kind of makes sense to fuse. They're both toxic AF. Uh, SVN's video production, no NSFW stuff means you must be ladder certified. I don't get that one. I don't quite get that one either. I don't get it either. Oh, Natalie. So Amistar and Cradley. 
Uh, let's see. So that'd be water, grass, water, rock. Light it's Shadow Reaper, when you get back to Cinnabar, you have two options. Gyms, in which case go to the mansion, or rocket, talk to the sailor at the bottom of the island. I'm okay with going after the gym first, because because when we go down when we go down south for the Team Rocket stuff, that's Sevi Islands. And the and the Sevi I Oh Matt. Oh Matt, I love you. Uh Lovely. Uh because the problem is that's when we have to fight the, the trio legendary birds. Now, we are now higher level than them, because I think they're all level 50. But but it it's still rough a rough yes. battle. Well, welcome in, Eliza. Hey, Eliza. Hello. How are you feeling? Better. Uh, the cough has stopped for now. Hmm. Marvelous. Right. Oh, oh, by the way, it's um... probably going to be maybe water rock or by water way, grass. Chat Quack. Quack grass. Quack Quack rock grass. Quack grass. Quack grass. Yeah, and chat explained so the joke, by the way. If you're certified for ladder safety, it is literally safe for work. Oh my gosh. I just, I don't. Jeez. That's pretty old, Rich. In any case, yeah, we're, ten, we're ten levels higher. We should be good. Is that a double protect? I don't know. No, it wasn't. Okay. It's about to somehow in a destiny bond. <laughs> that would be depressing. Don't bring that evil here. Alrighty. Okay, now just cradley. Why in the world? <laughs> okay, either that's either focus. is that like is that just hmm. a custom cradley sprite or is it like a double cradley? It, it it's a custom cradley sprite. Okay, yeah. So grass rock. We poisoned the grass rock. Oh, you poor fool. Super cradley. Guys, have you seen Silent Hill Ascension? Man, uh, I just love collecting berries! Uh, yeah, I, I, I saw the, the meme, and then and, and nobody talked about it anymore because it's a dead project on arrival. Because it's terrible. I have, and however, played Silent Hill do not believe the, I do not believe them when they say it wasn't created written by AI. I don't believe them. All right, do you want the jaw fossil or the sail fossil? I mean, it doesn't really matter because it's going to be randomized anyway, but, like, like, what do we want? Get the sail fossil. <laughs> sail fossil, because I'm going to make Eliza happy. Hmm. <laughs> Eliza, do you I'm want me say, to get the sail fossil? Yeah, I'm going to say I'm going to say jaw <clears throat> fossil just to be just to be a butt. <laughs> Uh, Chaos Nightmare says another not mean news. I found two Ben 10 themed YouTube uh, VTubers recently. <laughs> there are three that I know of. That's neat. Sounds Point like you're seven Jaws short. sale. More people are saying is saying uh, Jaw Fossil. I think. Oh, now we got more sale. And Mr. Need to put Video my glasses on just rather than Jam Fossil. Mr. Video hailing car. I'm planning to start a marathon of the entire Pokemon anime involving Ash catching my birthday. Now that the story is over. Good luck. There's like a thousand episodes. Yeah, I, I was just like fifteen hundred. I was going to say there's a video game, Donkey Video, that addresses how to do that, and it's a pain in the ass. Which fossils oh. are what? The thing is that the fossils are randomized. So so originally they were Tyrantrum? No. What, what's the uh, the dinosaur one? They're, these are the X and Y fossils. Tyrant and Amora. Tyrant and Amora. When the problem is everything's we... randomized now, so who knows what they've become. We got a Flaffy out of, out of one of our other fossils. And I like Amora more than Tyrant because... I prefer pretty. I like yeah. them both. I think they're great. I just hate that 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 uh, uh, that, that uh, Auroras can't learn surf. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Wait. I also hate it, that it's like four times weak to fighting. Isn't Aurora supposed to be the lockless monster or something? It's no, supposed to be like a, to... like a like a like a not a brachiosaur. Someone said a sauropod. Yeah. Yeah, it's a sauropod. Key McLeod, apologies for the car. I heard this repeatedly, but I'm curious if we've seen X-Men 97 and his thoughts on it. I have seen it, and I love it. I think it's great so far. There's a few retcons, which I'm iffy about, but uh, overall, I like it. I like and that we have Magneto's have goofy, goofy outfit that from the comics during that time period. They're ad the adaptation stuff they're doing is very good. I'm enjoying it overall. Uh, don't like the voices they gave the Sentinels. Admittedly, the Sentinel voices changed for like later seasons, but like, like you could have made it deeper. 
Like, I know the original voice actor for the Sentinels and Master Mold in, in Season 1, uh, he passed away, sadly. But you could have done, like, artificially, like, deepening the pitch of the voice. Yeah. Is Cyclops, did, does, does Cyclops ever say, like, sure, not before firing at one again? Uh, he does do a not. Are, are you kidding me? He does. He does. That's amazing. He does. <laughs> also, 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 I can't remember his name, but the voice actor they got to replace the Cyclops' original, bang up job. Sounds exactly like him. Oh, yeah. The new expert also, mode, Aurorus is a nightmare. Refrigerate means increased power on top of, of max power, ice type frustration. Hmm. Oh, it's based on a Margosaurus. Alright, we're gonna go <laughs> we're gonna go sail fossil then, because I think I think we got a little more sail than others. Well, that's wind in your sail, so there you go. Also, there is one thing that I'm still curious about that they haven't explained yet, Nuxman 97. Why was Bishop in the past? Like I can't. Yeah, I was like, I, I was curious about that. Like, like I just haven't watched se later season five in a while. Was Bishop around for the final episode? I think we need Cable to come back so he can explain his Wild Man of Borneo <laughs> line. It's like an old ass movie. Yeah. Well, who are you I supposed to be? I don't doubt we'll probably see Cable again. I, I, I really hope they don't do Apocalypse because because uh uh. His actor is is, is dead, and we cannot get anyone. I, I don't see anyone as good as uh, I'm forgetting his the actor's name. Yeah, that, well, that <laughs> melodramatic delivery was so good. I, I still think my favorite voice acting work in the entire series was Fabrian Cortez. Like that guy was unhinged in the. Here's old the scene. funny thing about Fabian Cortez. He is such a minor character in the comics. You know, but like, but in the show, like, it's we're like, gonna get. it's completely unhinged delivery. Like, I love and it's going to be it. a. If they do not, not, not to. I'm going to try it. So two Pokemon we've already gotten before, but we're still gonna, but we're still gonna fuse them together. Hey, it's it's back up. Uh, Matthew Beerus, I loved Jubilee as a kid when I saw the original. I've never understood why people hated her. It was mostly just that a lot of her character was kind of one note. It was just like, uh, I want to be part of the action. You know, oh, and her powers just like didn't do a lot. They did, they, 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 they did a lot better with her so far in X-Men 97. Yeah, like, I know her powers are like actually legitimately good, but in the old TV show, she made little sparklies. Like that was it. And she was like, cool kid. It, it was like, it was like a couple of steps better than like the human characters from G1 Transformers that you just like you just don't give a shit about. You're like, when do we get to the robots? Jubilee's like, I just want to go to the mall, and you're like, eh, eh. okay, electric flying. Let's get let's let's see let's uh, fuse Natu and Flaffy and see what we got. And uh, Thomas Wake, Jubilee's powers are actually pretty sick, but like in the show, it was just she makes sparklies. Like, it doesn't I'm, trying to, I'm trying to remember the name of the actor, John Calicos. John Calicos. Oh, <laughs> that's oh my cute. Goodness, that's adorable. Flatu. We need a name for yeah. Flatu. Veronicto. Flatu Veronicto. I like that. That's not bad. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. Synchronize or static. Uh, I think static is going to be better. Uh, plus speed minus defense. Plus attack minus special defense. That's... Uh, neither of these are that great. I'm leaning towards hasty. Flatu the, the watcher. Flatulence, Thunderbird, Angry Bird, me Flappy Bird. Flappy Bird actually ended up in a terrible name either. Okay, my internet dropped for a second. Graffy, Flatu, Verada, Nikto. We'll go with Flatu, Verada, Nikto. Ooh, that's a good name. Hmm. Uh, uh, Verada, Nikto. That's kind of funny. <laughs> Or even Avalanche. Did it still have? Did they still have the 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 the, the move set for the for the fossils? Maybe? But yeah, John Calicos, who was also Baltar in the original Battlestar Galactica. Kor from, from Star Trek. Hmm. Yeah, Kor was Apocalypse. I know, right? Oh. Incredible, uh, incredible actor. Incredible voice actor, too, for Apocalypse. Just he sold every single line. I do not see anyone being able to match up to John Calicos' ability to, to say those dramatic lines completely seriously. Yeah, also, I don't think they're going to be bringing Apocalypse back after the events of the finale of Season 4. Indeed, but they still had, but they still had, uh, uh, like, you know, his presence was felt in, like, one episode of Season 5 we did, we with, the, a name, with yeah, animation. We got a name, Flat, too. Oh, yeah, we got to name it, sorry. I'm far that. beyond mutants. 
as they yeah, are beyond you. Insane. But um, as I was saying before, my internet dropped for a second. Jubilee's powers in the comics are literally like blowing things up at a subatomic level. Yeah, well, no, it was like I was saying. Her powers are actually pretty sick. It's just in the cartoon. It's like she makes tiny fireworks and she ruins that one arcade machine and, like, nobody cares. Yeah, but in, there's a recent episode called uh, Motendo, which you should watch because... Well, you're Jubilee not going awesome. to say anything more than that because because we don't want to spoil people, but yes, that yep. episode was good. And and like I said, they're doing a lot better with Jubilee in, the, in, in, in X-Men 97 than they had her be in the original series. Oh, yeah. Jubilee's better. Everyone's better. Morph gets to do stuff. <laughs> AJ Drucken, David K is Apocalypse. You know what? I could see that. I could see him matching uh, uh, John Calicos. Yo, he that's a good Megatron. choice. Good, good, good on you for pointing that. Hmm. Okay, we can just get a free Absol apparently. Apparently. Mind you, I'm well, pretty sure that this will randomize to something else. I wonder what it could be. <laughs> watch it. Watch it randomize to a cast form. Now, do you guys in the chat know why Absol is here? Oh, wow, a Rosary. Oh, okay. That's good. That is a dramatic pose. That's great. Ta-da! It's fabulous. Surprise. Surprise. I, love me. I really, really love me. I gotta buy more quick balls. Well, well you, you, I do know how you can do the exploit. It's running back from Kilfco and Pokemart. Yeah, self go. Yeah, self goes Pokemon that we can get the uh, get the uh, quick balls. Infinite, no infinite money. I'm talking All about. All right, we don't. We're not worried about infinite money right now. We're okay. We just need to buy some more quick balls. I like this sprite. I think this is actually pretty cool. I kind of like the one to the uh, left that has the flowers. Yeah, yeah, with, with the petals. petals. With the petals. Nothing. the petal one is just a little bit better. All right, we'll go with the petal one. Jazz hands. <sighs> We're on Cinnabar, right? Yep. Ah, then I know exactly why Absol was there. Yep, exactly. Because we all oh, know dear. what happens in two years. It's, yeah, it's foreshadowing the volcano eruption. That's why <laughs> Absol is here. <sighs> I think X-Men Evolution have gotten revival. I don't know what... Nostalgia, what, give it a few more what? years, you'll get your X-Men Evolution one. I... I I tried X Men Evolution. I just was not into it. Problem is, of I, course, you know you always love your first one. So I always liked B Taz more than the Batman. I always liked uh, uh, X Men, the original X Men series versus uh, X Men versus X Men Evolution. I have a question: Which show was the one where Doctor Xavier was sending psychic like connections to the past? Oh, that's the Wolverine and the X Men. That's Wolverine and the X Men. The uh, Show from 2009, I think it was? Hmm. It's either 2009 or 2010. Yeah, the other X-Men series that no one talks about. It's actually really damn good. Uh, the Fire only Teller problem is... Says, What's your thoughts on solo leveling anime? I am not... I don't know what that's referring to. Yeah, I don't know. Neither do means. I. I thought you solo leveled video games. Hmm. Maybe it's the name of a new anime, just like... I'm not an anime I, guy. It'd be better to ask Vegan, that kind of thing. That's a weird name. The only, recent, the only recent anime I watched was an anime that I caught last night on television, which was uh, some... It was an a, a anime about lesbians with guns. Uh, guns oh, can you cast. have an interest? Uh, no, it was on a, uh, Adult Swim, and it was modern. Hmm. Yeah, they had how, how, how much that narrows it down. <laughs> All right, let's go into Cinnabar Mansion. We'll catch some stuff, and we. So, I did we not know out. that lesbians with guns were a common thing in anime. Like solo leveling is an isekai. There's really an anime called Solo Leveling. Seriously, of course. There, it you, is. There's, there's, there's anime names for everything. There's Goofy. Bear in mind, America made a movie called We Bought a Zoo. Yeah, but solo leveling is like what you do. That's not like the name of a show, but I guess it yeah, is. Yeah, but some anime titles are so long. Oh, like Chorus so Requel. That's the name of the anime. Okay. Uh, uh, Matank. Gojira uh, uh, says uh, David K is Apocalypse and is Charles disturbing. in Evolution. Oh, nice. Uh, but I know the Apocalypse, but the Apocalypse in, in, in X-Men Evolution was not was not portrayed the same way he was in in the X-Men animated series. Yeah, in X-Men Evolution, Nick, Charles Xavier brainwashes a lot of people. Yeah. Oh my goodness, that's funny. Oh, <laughs> like, beast. The you thought you could destroy me with my ship? You are no closer than the than the Babylonians with their fire sticks. 
Yeah, he's so good. His delivery is so over the top. Uh, Oro Tang. So Auroras, uh, Auroras and Matang. Yeah, I think so. So it'd be like Ice Steel, Ice Psychic. I think Ice Psychic. Ground Dragon, we don't want ice against that. Ugh, Ice Steel, Ice Psychic, Silent Hill! Yeah, Silent Hill would be good. What's the second my, Pokemon? My favorite line from Apocalypse in Matang. the X-Men animated series was, uh... I am farther beyond mutants than they, they are, beyond are beyond you. you. I Rock am psychic. eternal! Rock it's, it's Psychic. Rock Psychic. It's like when they addressed that pillar men would eat vampires just like vampires eat humans, and they're like, oh no. Uh, it, has, it has ancient power, so actually that's not The great funny thing power. is, that was because of a um, thing that was actually not quite figured out yet in the 90s in the X Men comics, where there was a thing, there's a group called the um, Externals, which were these mutants that lived for, for ages, for eons. Mm. And Stiuna. they were trying to decide whether or not the external should be like their own thing or mutants. Oh, uh, Robert Wilson says. I'll get Robert Ooh. Wilson's question in a second here. I just want to figure this out. Sti Una. So. Steeny and. So, Ste sorry, Steelix and. Could be Una Steelix part. as well. It could also be Steeny, I think. Is Bounce Sweet in the Teddy, Lu Teddy Luna? No, it's not Teddy. Teddy, Teddy, yeah, Teddy Ursa is what you're thinking of. Could be okay. a. Arm the rocks a, upon the no, eternal shore. Kakuna. Kakuna, okay. Yeah. So Steelix Kakuna. Kakuna, so Steel Bug or Steel Poison. Steel Poison. Steel Poison. You were fine with Silent Hill then. Arm the rocks upon the eternal shore. Crash upon me <laughs> and be broken. He's so funny. Uh, Robert Wilson says, Lewis, what do you think about the Starfleet uniforms we've got in all the new shows? Discovery's uniforms make sense as an in-between point between TOS and, and uh, Enterprise. I'm not super fond of them, but they were okay. The problem I had with them is that they then retconned TOS uniforms to just be like repainted versions of the Discovery uniforms, and I hate that. They did the same thing with the, with the Wrath of Khan era uniforms, too. Uh, the, the Season 4 and Up uniforms I actually did like. Mind you, I had stopped watching Discovery, but those uniforms look a lot more slick. I like them better. Uh, lower Decks uniforms, I think, are all right. I'm not watching Lower Decks, but I've seen the uniforms. They look all right. Picard uniforms are really just meh. Leaf Zing, Zing, which is, pretty is good. Leafeon and... Weezing. Uh, Weezing. Grass Poison. Grass yep. Poison. Uh, it might have Levitate. Grass Poison. Uh, Angry Bird is... Fairy. Oh, uh, yeah, I think we just stay here. Burn it with fire. That's horrifying. Uh, sword dance, that'd be not, that's not great. Release 12, 18 levels higher, so hopefully we can kill it before you get, there we go. But yeah, did anybody get, anyway, did anybody get, um, uh, Goji Gun's, uh, $2, um. Uh, read it again. Uh, uh, David yeah. K is Apocalypse and Charles is in That's Evolution. Yeah, we got that one. Yeah. Just want to double check. It's all good. Uh, skim all this, but uh, we still got to catch something in here, so... Mod Random Legendary. Nope. We have not I don't think we even... I think we only had like one or two legendaries so far. And yes, I do know that XT3 was meant to be gay. Watching DS9, my partner recently did the uniform change. It took me a second to go. Oh, hey, yeah, it took them a sec. It took them a minute to figure out how to how to do things because you notice like the com badge is on the wrong part of the uh, of the first contact era uniforms. Uh, Fire oh, Fire uh, V says uh, once I played Marvel vs. Capcom fighting Onslaught, I never knew he was an actual character from X Men. So, what's your thoughts on that? Yeah, that was the what first time the I seen him too. Dear God. That's a yeah, sand slash and an unknown. Yeah, that's, nice... that's weird. Tell me when it's gone. Tell me when it's gone. Oh, also, I don't know how I feel about on, that. Uh, what are your thoughts on Onslaught? I, uh, Here's Onslaught my thoughts about Onslaught. Onslaught. Onslaught is such a dumb idea. Here's my thoughts on Onslaught. Uh... Okay, so what are your thoughts on it, though? <laughs> it is the dumbest idea in all of Marvel. I liked him as a video game boss. And when he beats you, he goes, the dream is over. 
Okay, here's the reason why I think Onslaught is so dumb. Because the storyline had some of the best build-up. And then it was just so stupid. See, King Crowler actually... Ooh, a Caesar! Ooh. It's pretty sick. I like that pose. All right. Uh, I actually, to, to answer to the thing is, uh, yeah, you should guys you should watch Babylon Five because that's being talked about in the chat. Babylon Five is great. Otherwise, uh, yeah, King Crow uh, King Crowker, cool concept uh, executed poorly. Thing is, I don't think it's a cool concept either. I think it's actually really dumb. It's a dumb concept because it's Charles Xavier absorbing the evil of Magneto into his mind. What does What does that even mean? <laughs> no idea. I love the look, though. It's very 90s. Like, I don't think it would work today, but that look looked cool at the time. Yeah. Here's what is the thing. That? The original plans for Onslaught were changed so heavily that that's what we eventually came up with for the what Onslaught was. Of course they were. It's always, it's always like these weird changes. Like, like any, you know, it might have, I don't know if it was a better idea or not, but like, it's like sometimes, sometimes the original idea is actually better than what, what we got, so like I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case. Some of the fan rumors back before the revelation was that it was going to be Apocalypse. Eh. But with like a new power or something. That's disappointing because Apocalypse already has a name and it's Apocalypse. Yeah, and he's already cool. And Apocalypse is already cool in that regard. I'm so like onslaught now. Like that, that, well, that's the thing. Apocalypse is so grand. There like, he go. doesn't need to rebrand, especially because he's thousands of years old. Like, today's well, the day. Like, Well, they also have a ditto in the basement. Yeah, yeah there's a mean... ditto and a magmar we can catch, so. Like, th just the fact that Apocalypse has been around for, like, a couple of decades in the comics, so he needs a rebrand, but, like, but he didn't rebrand for thousands of years, you know? Like, but they call me Onslaught To be Onslaught fair, he now, did like, actually rebrand. He didn't take the name Onslaught until around the 1500s. I mean, the name Apocalypse until around the 1500s. He originally just went by the first one, which is fine. But I think, but Apocalypse is just yo. Know, once you get once you get good branding like that, you don't want to change change it up. Oh, him one shotting Juggernaut before his reveal was cool though. I do remember there was one part in the old '90s um, X Men cartoon where I th there was there was this guy I hadn't heard of, uh, like he was an alien called Gladiator, and uh, yes. Juggernaut took a swing at him and he just didn't move, and that was the most like jaw-dropping moment of the whole cartoon for me. Oh, like, yeah. What? He just chucks the somewhere. Yeah, because Gladiator is just that strong, and I, I, I do kind of love that. That was insane. Yep. Gladiator Gladiator Swablu! Okay, Swablu! Swablu yeah. and Caesar. Okay, this should be fun. But it reminds me of what my dad said about um, the Thor movie, because, like, my dad generally liked the first Thor movie, but there was one thing that disappointed him, which was how they handled the, the final boss, like, you know, Loki's mech thing, the Destroyer. The destroyer. Because, yeah, because my dad, because I'm not very familiar with the Thor comics, but my dad, like, that was what he read back in the day. And he told me that the Destroyer is, like, so comically strong that he can just lift me only. I, I like the wobbly that looks like comfy. Like, the Hulk can't do it, I guess, but, like, the Destroyer theoretically could just heft me only, which is amazing. Yeah. But, yeah, um, fluffy Caesar. Yeah, let's, let's, let's go fuse them together. Like, I keep forgetting. We, we, have the, we have the box link. We don't have to wait to do that. But the reason why Gladiator is so strong is he's he's basically just Marvel Superboy. Yeah, because I mean, fair enough. I just never heard of this guy. I'm like, oh, it's a guy in a cape. Yeah. And Cotton Shears is a good name. Like, Cotton the, um, Shears is a good name. I like that. The entire team of the Shi'ar Guardians, they're based on the Legion of Superheroes. Oh, that's uh, funny. No custom sprites, unfortunately. Uh, Yet. Yet. Uh, okay, do we want Bug Flying or Flying Steel? Uh, flying steel. No custom finals, otherwise dragon steel is good. Mm. Because right. it would become dragon steel with the flying steel. Not I at think. all, really. Ah, huh. I like cotton shears. We're gonna go with that. <laughs> I've heard harvester. I don't know. <laughs> oh, yo, and it ain't <laughs> custom, but it's it looks like one. Pretty good. <laughs> that like vacant bird face. A swabs are the body with the hardness of steel. After enduring winter in which little food is available, swabs are flocks moved closer to towns in the spring. Uh, swarm or natural cure also has heal when it switches out. Uh, neg natural cure is going to be better. Special attack. It's going to be a high attacker. High attack, a physical attacker. Yeah, physical. Then we'll then we'll stick with uh, bashful, I think. 
Natural gift, new. Sometimes the auto gems give you an auto gem. Cute. Hey! Refresh, no. Mirror move, nah. Oh, Nathan, you, a Skyther. Skyther is good, too. I think that's, yeah, that's very clever. That is good, but I like Cotton Shears too much. But that is very good. I like that. All right. Now, I always forget how to do the mansion. I know I know we got the uh, the pillar, the the, the, the things we got to move, or we got we to, gotta, you know, hit the buttons, and, but, yep. like, which one we drop down, I forget sometimes. Oh, we could have gotten a Pikachu. Oh. oh. Caesar or Pikachu would have been interesting. Oh, I gotta look. I gotta see what that would look like. Hold on a minute. Cotton Eye Joe would have been good too. Ah. Uh, hadn't been for Cotton Cloud Eye Scythe. Joe. I've been married a long time ago. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? Cloud oh Scythe. That would have been good too. The both of the spikes look awesome. They uh, kind of do, yeah. Repels. Does it make our lives easier? Do we have any repels? I know the song Cotton Eye Joe by art. For some reason, the evolution is awesome. They played it in school for us to line dance to. It looks like the tier tier two evolution looks like buy two with armor on it. You buy some repels. And the visor looks like an electric rat scissor. It, it kind of does, yeah. Cloud cutter is good too. Swablu plus Caesar Poyo with arms. And someone at that point was screaming and he doesn't know why. Let's go up the stairs in front of you to get the magmar, otherwise activate the statue south of you and end up the stairs to the bottom. Okay. Let's go get the magmar, because then we can fuse that with the uh with uh whatever the absol was, I can't remember now. Roserade. Roserade, yeah. Skycutter is another good one. God, there's so many good names out of that. There are a whole lot, yeah. Cloud Strife. He could have been named Cloud Strife. Cloud Scythe yeah. was the name that someone came up with. Yeah, Cloud Scythe. Ah. Mm. Uh, Slowbro. Slowbro, sweet. Slowbro Roserade. Interesting. So it'll be... Rose, bro. Water Poison or Grass Psychic? Hmm. I think are the two combinations. My brain is kind of fried. It's all good. No worries. Hey. Slowserade. That's good. <laughs> uh, did you hear of Tekken wants developers to add a wall file stage to the game? Oh yes. my goodness, that's adorable, kinda. That is an adorable sprite. I like the I like the classic Game Freak one as well. Uh, that's cute. I'm looking at the fusion. Let's see. Let's keep happy, Slowbro. The Hermit Crab Pokemon. All right, let's fuse them together. Water poison is a custom. All righty. Box link. I don't know if it's or static, but I think it is. All right, fuse. Jean. Ah! Ta-da! Oh, it's got a poison barb. I should grab that. All right, water poison has a custom sprite, so we'll go with that. I look forward to seeing this. Well, let's see what this uh, bet. Let's see what this looks like. More. Let's see what abomination player. we'll see. They both. They both are are, are, are so are like cheering. Until the fusion now. cheer is the question. Oh God! Oh my God! God. That's interesting. I don't hate it. It looks like it weird. took me. A it took me a second to understand what the hell I was looking at. Like is the shoulders in front, yeah, like all going back. <laughs> Does anybody else kind of get butler vibes from it? We can also get get, get the auto gen ones, but I think I think the custom is still better. Actually, it kind of looks like it kind of looks like a rosary raid with like a that little that mask raid ball mask holding a cannon with flowers on it. Mm. It attracts prey with a sweet aroma, then downs it with thorny whips hidden in its arms. As a result, the tail can't be used for fishing anymore. This forces it to something. Uh, What's it do? What's own, it tempo. Tempo. own tempo because we don't like being confused. It's it's going to be a neutral special attacker. Or, say again? Special attacker. Special attacker. Uh, plus defense minus speed. It's going to be slow as hell. 
Yeah. Headbutt. Ah, uh, it's better than Sweet Scent. Water Pulse. Uh, probably better than Poison Sting. Probably better than Headbutt, honestly. Zen Headbutt. That's a good move, actually. Uh, better than Mega Drain. Slack Off. Nope. There we go. Oh, uh, yes. I do like Slozerade, though, if anyone has a better name. Uh, uh, we got Broserade. Uh, that's what I'm seeing so far. Broserade. That's not bad. Rosebuds. Rosebuds. Hmm. I was going to go with... Citizen Nightmare Rose Fuel, Bro something. Rose. I don't consider it that. I don't. It, it took me a second to figure it out, but once I saw it, I got it. Bros, Bros isn't, isn't terrible. You, know I'm going with Bros. There you go. We got this, Bros. Brose. Pronounce Brose. Brose. Max I, potion. That would make it all funny. Oh, I just thought of a good one. I mean, it wouldn't make much sense. Oh, we're gonna add an Aggron good. in here. Oh. Also, I've never seen Aggron in all fours before. That's weird. That is very odd. That is very odd. <laughs> uh, oh, hybrid. good, free money. Ooh, money. Uh, do we even lift bros? Do you even lift bros? I want to only show because so, that's the custom sprite. That's why I, I like Shadow Reaper. It's just how slow bro is. There's probably a tail that it's biting. What yeah, I was going to say, that's, that's, what, that's what slow bro sprite is. Like, that's what the shoulder does. Yep. Uh, Bobby Moore 2, um, how would you rank all the Ghostbuster movies from first to worst? There's I haven't really seen Frozen Empire, butt, so, I wouldn't, but... so, I wouldn't, so I couldn't do that accurately. I would okay, say fine. I like one, and then I like two, and I haven't seen the rest, so that was a very easy list. Failed the test to clone the newly discovered Pokemon. A gelatinous Pokemon is created by mistake. Yeah, we're, we're getting the fan theory about Ditto in here. To be fair, it's not really a fan theory anymore. They confirmed it in the Detective Pikachu movie. Ah. Yeah, but I mean, like, did they, though? Like, that's like saying that the Mario Brothers movie, the first one, confirmed that Mario's last name is Mario. It's like, did Game Freak make the Detective Pikachu movie? Yes. It was, it was well, they were, they were advisors on it. Okay. Pokemon Company was it? Very wow, Sandflash and, 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 and uh, Larvitar. The Pokemon Company had a lot of hands on it. Mm. Yep. Okay. Just like how they've recently confirmed that Mario's last name is indeed Mario. July 10th, wow. Chris and Lily discovered Pokemon Let's Mew. Go, There's tons of I mean, stuff to loot in here. Granted, that's because, well, to be fair, it's not the first time that. Uh, Shigeru has confirmed that Mario's last name is Mario. He keeps on confirming and then unconfirming it. Uh, drill one. He keeps on changing his mind like every other year. I think the true lore is that he doesn't have a last name because nobody does. Okay. It basically in 2015, like, uh, Toto Iwata said Mario had a last name with Lampdos. So so uh, the month after. Kratos and Lampet. So rock fire, uh, uh, rock ghost. Anyway, I think I think uh, uh, I think bone saw can handle it. It's so big. Oh, area does. Okay, so either way, I think bone is it one out. of our MVPs. That's a good question. Um, for anybody who knows, T Hybrid asks if you fuse a shelter and a slowpoke, would you just like, I mean, I guess the stats wouldn't be different, but, like, would you just get a slow, bro? That's There's got to be, like, something. Yeah. Relic vase, so money. Oh, yeah, There's no, got to be, like, some uh, custom thing they do with that, because, of course, they would. Uh, what is it, what are the two Pokemon? Shelter and Slowpoke. I'm looking this up right now, actually. Kiss from a bros. Oh, that's an interesting design. Rampardos and Larvitar. A lot of Larvitar fusions in here. SK uh, just been in production. How's the new chair for streaming? It's fine. The the comfy chair has a tighter uh seat. So like it gets harder for me to like, you know, put my, my legs up uh, up in the whole thing. 
I don't. I, I have different ways of sitting comfortably. So like, I will sit on my legs, like I'm doing right now. But, like it's got less room for that, so it's not as comfortable. All right, uh, Linkara. Not that you've really been like on a selling spree, but the uh, the thing that you just got. Yeah, the relic vase can be used in a quest. So I feel like we did that already. Maybe I'm wrong. But I came up. I thought of a name for Bros after you gave the name Bros. And it's a really dumb name and a really dumb reference. Orson Welles. Yeah, I mean, I, I think uh, I saw like a person or two say Citizen Kane. All right, walk because me through Rosebud. this. I'm confused. Yeah, I know. Like Citizen Kane, same same idea. Uh, uh fire. I I did Citizen Rose, bud. Farasta, uh, steel fire or grass fire? Uh. Huh. I think Skimon is fine either way, but 10 levels is yeah. always so good. I think Skimon is fine. Uh, grass fire is what it is. Grass fire. Grass fire. Okay. So, uh, whew. so side beam might be better then because like surf will only be neutral. Same for signal beam. Although surf also gets stabbed. So, so would a grass fire Pokemon be a potential oh, energy machine? Is burn itself to fuel itself? Okay, I'm dumb not... using a steel move instead of a grass move. I am urging the temptation to sing the Crossfire commercial song. Crossfire! Crossfire! Yeah. Gotta 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 be in the crossfire! Crossfire! crossfire. For that one kid just to vanish to the camping zone. Laren oh and Ledian. Whoa. So, steel bug, steel flying. Uh, you get caught up in the crossfire. Crossfire. Uh, bug steel, bug rock. What's the last two of the two Pokemon? Uh, Ledian and Laren. Fun fact: Ferrothorn is a name bug. Several, but not all, Ferrothorn head fusions read as Ferran Space Second Half. I have reported this, but it's just kind of weird. Basically, a common rider. Yeah. I don't know how to spell Ledian. L E D I A N. People are saying it's steel flying. Uh, steel flying. Uh, we're not great against it. Surf. It was the second one. Oh, don't on. worry about it. I think we're fine. T T hybrid. That's skip it. Not not uh, crossfire, but still, I appreciate. Yeah, that that's another earworm from my childhood. You don't skip still make it, skip it, skip right? Skip it. What huh? the hell? What? What did he leave behind here? The heck is that? You found $500. You know, that's in your a wallet. weird wallet, but okay. Uh, can't step off there. Already was this way. I think that was supposed to be some sort of urn or something. Ooh, the larva slash is cool. Ooh. Kind of looks like a Digimon. Sprite error it patched in 6.1.3. Okay. It kind of does look like a Digimon. Wonder what the hell it was about. What, what, what that sprite is for, though. Uh, we already used this one, so there's another switch I need to do. I think the switch up here. The Pokemon Mansion. I've I've played I've played Red and Blue and Yellow and you know Fire Red, Leaf Green, all that stuff like so many times. But Pokemon Mansion always just confuses me. Like I always forget. To be fair, you're not the only one. The Pokemon Mansion is one of those areas that just kind of don't always remember. Talon Chop. So Machop and Talon and Flame. Talon Flame. We are probably fine, but we are normal type. There is a it's map. Just a, it's just a Halucha. Uh, Angry Bird can handle this, I think. Statue on second floor, the one you accidentally flipped the first time? Eh. Yeah, and Chaos Star is also saying you don't do the switch you did. Okay, I'll undo that one in a minute here. Uh, it's gonna be fire, fire, uh, uh whatchamacallit? Fire fighting. Oh, fire fighting. So fly should kill it. There we go. Well done, Angry Bird. You killed his other Angry Bird. Talon you killed the Angry Bird. Yeah, fe fe we, we missed Featherweight. Hyper voice. We don't need hyper voice. Actually, 
Hyper Voice is a special normal move. I might have to think about that. Uh, I'm about to send in Golta. Golem, Golurk, and Ponyta. So... Or no Golbat. Fuck. Or Golbat. Or Goldeen! There's so many oh, things with Gaul in the beginning. Also, Gold... Did we mention Gold Duck? That is pretty cool looking. I'm gonna... It's a little seahorse. Oh, I love that seahorse! Oh, it's one of the, oh, what, what's that kind of horse from the waters that trick people into... In the water? Oh. Sirens? No, not a siren. What, 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 what Eliza said, yeah. Gold is a Kelpie. All right, let's leave the mansion and go and come back. We'll grab some repels while we're at it. Also, Kelpies do the same. Also, that, bunny yips, switch are sometimes just, depicted as half horse. Meow Slash just feels oh, a little weak. There's a lot of creatures that are usually depicted as half horse, half fish. Hmm. Oh, it's a Kelpie is what, yeah, okay, my, my brain. I wonder if it's because Poseidon was like the god of the sea, but also of horses. Probably. Isn't that what we have seahorses for Pete's sake? Yep. Yeah. But yeah. Well, I mean, seahorses look like horses. <laughs> Do they? Do they the heads, know? The heads vaguely. How? To be fair, I actually prefer sea dragons to sea horses. Mm. You know what? Yeah, fair. Yeah, you know the scariest monster the same... in, the game, in this game. Math. They're basically the same species. Like, they're just different, you know, variations of the thing. Uh, you're not species. What's the term? What's the above species? Family. They're in the same family. So, Hyper Voice actually wouldn't be terrible for you. Let me see. Let's see. Uh, Matthew, uh, it's more like a hippo hippocampus, uh, like from uh, Greek mythology. Or I'm Latin, actually. Because hippocampus What's is like else? a part of your brain. I thought it was. I thought oh. it was. It was Kimono who could learn the. Uh, who could learn? Oh, there we go. Hyper voice. Uh, let's do the hippocampus is also a yeah. creature from Greek mythology and a part of your brain. Oh, it's both. Okay. All right. Uh, hmm. So we're in normal test. We get stabbed for a ninety power normal move. That's a Ooh. good thing. But do. But but we also have a really good move set right here. So what will we get rid of for for Hyper Voice? <sighs> like I'm inclined Signal Beam or Psy Beam. I feel like Signal Beam we get less use out of. Yeah, I think there's less things that are weak to bug. Mm. I mean, there dark are dark types, but like, I don't know. There's dark type and grass type and I... We wouldn't want Unskimono against a grass type anyway. Yeah. So that's really only useful against dark types. Hmm. Yeah, I like signal beam. It needs to be given the old yellow treatment. All right. Uh, while you're at it, Nathan, you. Uh, a seahorse walks into a bar. The bar a bartender says, uh, why the long face? The seahorse says, blub, blub. <laughs> eh. <laughs> I, I, got, I got a chuckle out of it. I chuckled. You're fine. Alright, uh, let's buy some repels. Oh, we already got. Wait a second, does that have 15 repels? Well, I didn't see the super repels. I guess I'll, I guess I'll do them. I'll, I guess I'll use them. Oh, well, there you go. So uh... we're going against psychic types, yeah, but like. I feel like we just have better stuff for psychic coverage. Mm -hmm. Uh, Febmon, someone explain what stab is to me. What was that? Some slang out of one of the later gen games? No, uh, stab is short for same type attack bonus. If you use a move that is the same type as the Pokemon, they get a little bonus for uh, you know, damage. So, like a water type using one. Surf will do more damage than some uh, than a non water type using Surf. And it's been a thing since Gen One. Yep, which you know, we I didn't know until a couple until a few years ago when other people when I started watching other people do nuzlocks and explain what stab was. So don't worry, it's okay if you don't know. It, it, it's not a thing that like yo 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 they they never say it in game. I don't think. That's yeah, because I'm gonna tell you about the badge boost thing in Gen One. The badge boost is a thing. It's just it's a very passive thing that's not reflected on the stats. And it's got a glitch that makes that makes it so it's, it's way overpowered in Gen 1. Indeed. Because Gen 1 is held together by duct tape and, and prayer. Yep. And the Japanese version is probably more duct tape and prayer. 
Oh, yes. All right, so we don't hit this switch. And then over here is supposed to be open. It is not, unless we... Yep. Yeah, at some point they said all statues are on-off switches. Did it save where, that we had done it? Pratt might have. Yeah, let me try it again, then. Press it. Who wouldn't? I know that, that's actual text in the original games. That's just weird. Oh, that's great. Yeah, the game never mentioned it, but it, uh, the game mentioned it, but never by stab. Yeah. February sixth, a successful attempt at cloning Mew. We named the newborn Mewtwo. We're not very, we're not very imaginative people. Yeah, like that's. Like, I, I can definitely see that. Like his working name is Mewtwo. We'll come up with something better later. And they oh just god, yeah, we don't want to use a fusion incense. Ah. To be fair, I would have like, named it Steven. Well, it's like in The Simpsons. Like, call it Love Day, only, you know, oh, something more gee, personal. And then Happy Love crazy. Day, everybody. Gib Pardos. Wow. I uh, think can you get Max Repels from the shops yet? Yes, I just don't feel like spending the money on Max when Super Repels works just fine. Oh, there's a bed. All right, so remind me. Which of these Which do I drop down? I always feel like it should be the second one, but, it, but I'm pretty sure it's not. It's the first one. It's the first one. That is actually rather cute. Yeah, Gibtar is cute. It's also dead. Uh, Ro uh, it's also dead. Ronan, uh, Rockman, uh, we named the newborn Sephiroth. Sephiroth! There we go. Incense effect worn off. I accidentally hit the fusion incense instead. There we go. I mean, it was interesting. You born yeah. fuzzy. <laughs> this next experience is very, very interesting. I shall sure call him Papa. What, Papa? Wait, yes, on how he's spiced up our life right now. Also, Gengar Happeny. That looks kind of creepy. It's also level 51. Jeez, okay. Uh, oh dear. I'm gonna go. We take it. shall call him. Betty. Well, the good news is we're immune. It, it's <laughs> we're immune to, to ghost type moves, but also immune to like half of our stuff too. Compared, compared to the first reference, nice. I'm also worried about about, about, about destiny bond. Uh, I think the only move of yours that works against it is surf. It's a high, it's a high special attack, and it's ghost normal. Dark pulse. Okay, we got a good special. Okay, we're good. We're faster than it, at least. I think one more surf um, will kill it. Mike Manhattan says, what would you say is the best use of public domain stories and characters outside of Disney? My pick would be Fables, Peter Panzerfaust, Tin Man on Sci-Fi, and Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio. Uh, I don't know what I would consider to be, like, because, like, I remember seeing ads for Tin Man and Sci-Fi, but never actually seen it before. I haven't seen yeah. a lot of the, the, those things, so unfortunately. Yeah, it's looked interesting, but I never saw it. Oh, uh, good and bad things about Tin Man. Outside of the, uh, Into the Woods. I mean, I, I mean, obviously they ended up oh, making yeah. their own Into the Woods, but the original play, I'd say, is a phenomenal use of the fair, uh, of, of public domain fairy tales. Uh, Duotine. So Mantine and uh, Duosian. Yep. Or, or so Dodo. Oh, no, no, it wouldn't be Dodo in my mind. Uh, probably. Uh, Light the Shadow Reaper, he's an Undertale reference down to his normal team. Okay. Also, to answer the question, Psychic. like, I, I, I genuinely, like, I don't think it's the best, but I, I have a lot of nostalgia for American McGee's Alice, the uh, computer game. For Alice in Wonderland. Oh, jeez. That oh. looks interesting. Ow, pain split. Or almost 20 levels higher, and, and, and it, has a, like, it must have a high HP count. Uh, I'm trying to remember the name of something. Uh, let's get a, let's pop a uh, heal. Pop a healy. On Skimono, yep. I don't know if that sounds right. Scientist freaking right. normal game use a Kara and a Gaster. There's your Fanish into Cinnabar. Okay, there is actually one thing that. Did, here's the thing. Unfortunately, one of my favorite uses of public domain things was not a Disney animated movie, but it was still done by Disney. Huh? Return to Oz. Ah. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, right. That's and they paid NPN to use Ruby Slippers. Yep. Even though they didn't need to use the Ruby Slippers because it was based more on the book than 
other than the whole, it was a dream part of it. Yeah, in the book, it was Silver Shoes. Yep. Cool then, James. Uh, we'll cover the Archie comics uh, about the Valerie Archie Shepard. Would that need to be a Patreon request? I would like to hear you and Vega discuss it. Uh, yeah, you'd probably have to make... Oh, geez, I just looked at Goopardos. Pretty cool. Uh, we're... It's Dragon Rock. Let me check. Let's see. Well, Our... it's definitely Dragon from Gudra. From Gudra, yeah. And I think Kranidos is just pure rock, so it would be Dragon Rock. Yep, Dragon Rock. Rock the Dragon. Dragon, dragon, rock the dragon, 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 dragon ball. ball. Switch it over yeah. to Angry Bird. Oh my uh, goodness, it's a really high attack. Yep. But well, we're um, also 20 levels higher, so, we, so we're probably in 11 levels off. higher, but... Oh, jeez, that, yeah, that, okay, that was a crit. That was a crit, we're good. I'm still gonna my heal. Favorite, my favorite character in all of Oz is TikTok. Uh, sorry awesome. to answer the question before. Yeah, it'd have to be a Patreon thing because I don't follow Archie. I do not care about Archie. I, I, the, the popularity of Archie confuses me. I follow. I used to follow Archie until the reboot happened. If we were not oh, eleven know, levels higher. That would be. That would be. That would be so bad. What's also kind of fun now that I think about it is like the entire Castlevania series is use of Universal monsters as bosses. Yeah. Yeah. Just all of it, oh, and Dracula yeah. itself. I, I, I've said this, I don't know if I've said this on this stream before, but I've said it on my channel before, but Castlevania 64 gets a bad rap compared to the other games, and I understand why, but I still say that it's monster form Dracula is the best one in the entire series. Well, I should say, just because I don't, I do not get the popularity of Archie doesn't mean that, like, I hate people who do like or anything like that. It's just not for me. I don't, and, 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 and as a result, I just, like, don't understand the appeal. But then again, there's a lot of media out there I don't understand the appeal of, because it just doesn't appeal to me. As one should, because, like, if everybody liked everything, then there would be no value to the media exactly. in that kind of respect. Hmm. Also, I will say this, um, one of the things that made me finally stop uh, reading Archie is because I realized that the thing that I kept on wanting would happen would never happen. What's that? Betty and Veronica would never realize that they'd be better off without Archie and start dating each other. Angela. <laughs> uh, grass, rock, grass, ground. What's an onyx fused with a tangula? Yep. So, grass, rock, grass, ground, one or the other. Uh, poo. bone saw, bone saw. Yep, rock grass. There's an audience oh, for everything, watcher, but not an audience um, for everyone. Classic Watcher is a good question. When I said Monster Form Dracula in Castlevania 64 is the best one, like which Castlevania 64 original or Legacy of Darkness? Original Legacy of Darkness. It's like a big, like. Night on Bald Mountain Demon, which looks cool, but like you've seen big winged demons before. But original Castlevania 64's dra dra um, Monster Dracula is like the sickest thing. Money. Ooh, rare candy, sweet. But yeah, for those who weren't probably expecting my favorite Oz character to be Ozma, no, Ozma's my second favorite Oz character. Yep. I forgot, how do you spell TikTok? Like, is it just CK with both? Like, the like the no, words? It's, I, no, it's, I think it's T-I-K-T-O-K. -K. Okay, like the like the website? Yeah. Oh, hey, well, Blaine's down here. Why, yes, I'm Blaine. I'm the city's gym leader. This is a very room where scientists genetically engineered a Pokemon called Mewtwo many years ago. One can only imagine the experiments that took place in this basement, but it's been abandoned, donned, abandoned <laughs> for a long time now. You better abandon off that spelling. Oh, you want to challenge my gym? Very well, I'll go back to the gym immediately. In that case, yo, I like this. The, fan, the the nice thing about a fan game like this is they fix uh, uh like minor weird things about the original games. Like, why is the key to the gym in in the Pokemon Mansion in the basement? Well, actually, I thought they were going to go a different direction. I thought he was going to say, this is the lab where so many years ago we did these experiments. Let's, let's just beat the shit out of each other in this room. Like, that would have been a little, <laughs> what? <laughs> and I want to say, oh, geez, it looks like it's been beating on it over and over on the inside. 
I want to say Moltres is in here normally, but like maybe I'm wrong mm -hmm. about that. No, no, Moltres no. is in, in Gen One. Moltres is in the. Uh, Victor I know Road. that, but I think in the but but in the but in the revised game, I want to say like they moved it. No, it's on Mount no. Ember. Okay. No, yeah. it's on Mount Ember. Yeah. Huh. Okay. How do we? Oh, do I have to like. Oh, I have to hit a switch again. Yep. yep. I gotta go do that Nintendo Switch. I'm telling you. But I'm Tish. Got moved after 5.1. Gotcha. But there are there are a lot of great characters in the Oz books. Yeah, and nobody cares about, or not nobody, but the the movie studios don't care about any of them <laughs> except for the movie from nearly 100 years ago because that movie from nearly 100 years ago was successful. What well, was that yep. good? It was that uh, good. I mean, bear, bear in mind, sometimes sometimes your adaptations of works just replace the original in the mind of people. There's a reason why yeah, but, the movie again, version of like Frankenstein that's, that's... is the pop culture yo yo identifier for it. Same for Dracula versus the original novels, and how and, and the differences there. I know, and but like, I'm but, but I'm, I'm not very... saying like, oh, we need a different version of Oz, but like that was book one of fourteen. Like, yeah, we have more material to work with. And what? I am totally... <laughs> Yeah, well, don't, well, that's only if you count the ones written by Al Frank Baum. You also have the ones written by Ruth Plum, Plumley. You have the ones written by here. Thompson. Like Frank Baum basically wrote like, if if you if you go back and actually read the books, book six was the end. But like he, he basically wrote books seven through fourteen kind of under duress. He he wanted to write different books with different characters. Look, look at this. I have these other stories you can read, and people were like, "We want Oz though," and it's like. Fine. <laughs> so, but he did eventually turn Oz and the other uh, books that he wrote into an entire true. large universe by slowly bringing all the other characters into the Oz books. Yeah, I remember like one sailor guy, like yep, Captain Trot. I mean, Captain, Captain Bill and yeah, Trot. Yeah, Captain Trot is like, oh, Captain Bill maybe, and maybe maybe you want to read my book. Hmm? <laughs> and also, they brought in um, they had Santa show up a few times because Santa was in his uh, the life and times of Santa Claus. Mm-hmm. Lost but yeah, so anyway, like there were six Oz books, but then there were 14 Oz books. <laughs> then you have... And like, he, he did that? expand his universe by bringing characters into them, but I think hey. that like... I don't think that was the intent. I think he was just trying to like backdoor his way into getting you to stop reading damn Oz and read his other books that he actually wanted to write. To be fair, by the time he wrote the final Oz book, he did actually enjoy writing Oz again. Ooh, we got the Mist Stone! It's good to hear, at least. Ooh. Oh, good. I almost missed that. <laughs> yeah, you stole my joke, damn it! <laughs> but here's the funny thing. He didn't even want the um, the uh, Dorothy story to be the first Oz book turned into a movie. He wanted uh, the Patchwork Girl way. story to be turned into the first movie. Well, I actually would have expected Ozma because that's kind of like the, the source of everything. <laughs> no, oddly enough, one of Bob's favorite characters was the Patchwork Girl. Uh, Febmon, Lakari, you have a ditto if you need it for a quest. No, I need I, I need the item that ditto can sometimes hold, which we do not have. Uh, otherwise, there was a, we have to make a diamond necklace on one of the island. So, yeah, I think we just take on the gym now. Well, technically, he did write more than 14 Oz books because he also wrote uh, the uh, Merry-Go-Round of Oz and the Fairy Log. Which are... I have not read those. I've okay, read the, Psychic uh, the Pokemon. Which are not, which are uh, both kind of non-canon. Silent Hill's gonna get a lot of action today. Yeah, he actually wrote a few non-canon Oz books as well. And we just, we got rid of Signal Beam on Skimono and we're fighting the Psychic Gym. By the way, of one course. Thing, you know what surprised me the most about the movie Return to Oz is that like, I saw that movie before I read the other Oz books. And you know, the Oz books have illustrations in them. I was shocked by, like, the wheelers in the movie. They look precisely oh, like yeah. the drawings in the book. Like, everyone's like, oh, like, it looks like, oh, they made it dark and weird for the movie. Nope. No, no, no. The wheelers were always terrifying. That, yeah, that is one to one. All right, guys. The qui it's quiz time. A fusion between Charmander and Ponyta evolves at which level? Which level? 28, 40, 16 does not evolve. I don't want to say 16. It yeah, Charmander Char Char falls into Charmelina 16. Correct, proceed to the next room! <laughs> Get out of here. Then the plot. Here's my problem with the Plumley books is no, Plumley tried to de gay Oz a bit, which felt wrong. Uh, too little, too late. It's been 14 books. <laughs> oh, and by the way, yeah, Linkar, you probably knew this, but get the questions wrong to fight if you want to fight. I can still fight them in manually, which is what I'm going to do anyway, just because okay. levels are good for us. 
Which is why I'm not a big fan of the Plumlee Franchin. books. Even though Plumlee wrote more books than Bomb did. Rock Psychic. Which... Well, Mr. Video says, from what you said about Frankenstein and Dracula when it comes to adaptations or placing the original source material, does that apply to the MCU as well? Ah, uh, sometimes, people, yeah, because they'll, repl they'll change stuff. I mean, the, the, the movie, I mean, they already did that with Kamala Khan so that she now it doesn't have, she's a mutant now, I think. Uh, yeah. Uh, Which was, to be fair, the actual intended thing that the creators wanted her to be when they first created her. Okay. Chin Buffett. So Waba Fett. Also, if you want the best Oz experience, uh, watch the Japanese anime. Oh, I thought you were going to say watch Zardoz with Sean Connery. No. This is your video for when you said about Frank Sandra. <laughs> I already did that. Okay, so guys, we're about to get a Waba Fett fusion. Oh, no. Oh, no. So I want to say Chincho and Waba Fett, so Electric yeah. Psychic. Uh... Water yeah, Psychic, totally Electric right. Psychic. Okay, uh, what is Waba Fett's special defense? So it's going to be Water Psychic. Yeah, I forgot Waba Fett's the shockingly scary Pokemon. Yeah. Any status moves? Yeah, Bobby has, has, has Thunder Wave. But that's pretty much it. We, I suppose we could bring in Sorin because I think she has a toxic, as, as a poison move. Just Sludge Bomb, but like, she's also weak to Psychic. Yeah, well, but that's the only real good stat is it's HP, but it has those moves. Yeah, it's, it's the moves that are the problem because it can Destiny Bond, it can do lots of stuff. We want to slowly kill it, but we don't really have much to do. We need to get toxic. Yeah. Technically, there have been more than two Oz TV shows. 51 defense versus 56 special defense. Okay, so theoretically, we can kill it. It's just, it's just, we need to kill, it needs to be killed in one turn. Yeah. And Crunch yeah, might one hit KO. So, oh, Sorina, uh, we could send in. They're, they're saying it's only offensive psychic move would be Mirror Coat, if that helps. Which, you know, if we use Crunch on it, you know, oh, Mirror Coat's not going to do crap. Does swapping yeah. out remove the Destiny Bond? Yes. The problem is Wobbuffet often has the ability Shadow Tag, which keeps a, which prevents you from switching out. That's why some Nuzlocks have a, a Wobbuffet Clause, because Wobbuffet is just... It's another. It's an auto. It's almost an automatic killer for a for, for a nuzlocke. Oh wait, like, like the Shadow Reaper says, just skipping a turn invalidates Destiny Bond. Yes, but we gotta. So so I'm thinking Sorita is gonna be our best bet here. But the thing is, anything we put out there, it yo 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 puts it at risk. That's terrifying. That's not terrifying. Okay, we are 18 levels higher. I want to say Crunch will kill it in one. Please kill it, please kill it, please kill it. Boom, okay, good. Oh. Yeah, also, Chaos That's Star a great custom sprite, though, by the way. Priority. Every time you see Buffett, you get too fear in you. Glidias, so Gliscor and Latias? Let me check. Could also oh, be what? Gligar and Latias. That's right. Oh, yeah, yeah, Gligar. Anyway, oh, good. Yeah, I just doubled my winnings. Okay, so uh, flying ground or ground ground psychic, ground dragon. I can't think of anything else other than Latias that would be the Tias. Ryan McLeod, yeah. Kari, familiar with the Marvel Infinity War game by Zavitor, if it includes a few remakes of other games such as Maximum Carnage, Mutant Apocalypse, Multiplayer Glitter. Oh, neat. I was not aware of that. Ground Psychic. Maximum okay. Carnage is pretty sick. I, ground I Psychic? Crap, yeah, Sarita's poison. Uh, ugh, ground Psychic. Bone I mean, there's Sock Komodo. Handle it. Angry Bird could probably do some damage. Ground Psychic. Uh, bone. I'm, I'm leaning towards Bone Saw. Do Bone Saw. Uh, wait, it, what, if it's, what if its abilities might be Levitate, so... Yeah, but I, I mean... I, mean I, I have other moves here. Oh, jeez, that's okay. terrifying. Wow. 
But let's try Bone Rang and see what happens. Oh, Levitate. Okay, we know now. Alright, so Dragon Claw. Oh, I, can d I got Double Edge. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? We don't we don't fear fear recoil. That's right. Oh, oh and our, our, our so says, is Burglar Quinn the dark future version of Burger King after he loses everything and turns to a life of crime? Yes, that is our canon. <laughs> yes. Just what I was thinking this whole time. By the way, we, we started late, so we're running a bit longer and we are going to uh uh we're going to defeat the gym today, I feel. So I want to get us another badge. Get it, yo, yo. Keep things moving along. But then we'll do Team Rocket next week, I think. All right, that going to the gym that works out. Yeah, the Al Frank bomb books are in the public domain. The Thirty Nine movie is not. Also, uh, also, MGM holds a very strict copyright on the stuff they did change for the adaptation. They will, they, you know, apparently they like will go after you for the shade of green you use for for a for a uh, well, for the Wicked Witch. MGM held those copyrights. They now they sold them to WB. Ah, of course. Oh, so we have nothing to fear. WB will just throw that shit in the trash. Exactly. <laughs> you because know how MGM had a psychic breath can get. Back around like five years ago, MGM was really hurting, so they sold almost everything. Like Jeez, they sold half their stuff to WB and the other half to Amazon. Destiny Bond only counts for the next turn. Yes. I yeah, think Amazon wound up buying Mr. Dude. Stargate. Wow. But yeah, the funny thing is, well, as, that's iconic, terrible. As, as iconic as that Wicked Witch of the West looks, like, that's nothing like what she looked like in the book. And to be honest, I'm not really a fan oh, of what yeah. she looked in the book, but, like, you could do anything you want with the Wicked Witch of the West. Classic Watcher, the... hot psychic breath. The hell are you talking about? Yeah, the replacement of fire to psychic. This like makes a lot of the dialogue make no hot sense. Psychic. Taylor Robinson, what are your thoughts on the Wicked Book and music mu musical? Uh, I have not seen, I have not read or seen either, so I have no thoughts on it. Psychic I've poison. Read books. Okay, so psychic poison. So we oh shadow ball instead. I, I've read the books. That they're good, but they are brutal. Like they're depressing. I have not read the books, and I want to watch the musical someday. There you go. I hear the musical's very good, um, but, like, for a while, I mean, maybe I would see it now, but for a while I refused to see it because I read the books, and I'm like, I don't want to see this in live action. <laughs> this could be too sad. Abra. So, yeah, Bonesaw. Because you're, like, you're you're following the, the witch herself in the first book, and then they're different characters in different books. But, yeah. man, things are so rough. There's something so wonderful about the fact that it's this bright pink, and it's got, and it's got the fluff all over it, and it's just got this angry expression on his face. Like, but I'm one of the... I, I'm a huge fan of Oz, but there is one Oz thing I really don't like. And it's the one thing that most people do like about Oz. What's that? The 1939 movie. Really? You don't like, 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 like the movie? I read the book first. Fair enough. You just uh, want them to re-add that jitterbug scene, don't you? No, I want them to actually have all the cool stuff in the book that they removed, like the Kali does. They need to bring back that, uh, I think it's the wrong book, but they need to bring back that tiger that really, really wants to eat a baby, but won't, but really, oh, really no, no, wants no, no, the Hungry Tiger is first introduced <laughs> in the first book. The, the, the Hungry Tiger asked the lion to kill a giant spider the size of a house, in which the lion says, sure, I'll do that shit, and goes and kills the spider. Abcor. What's the core part? Gliscor? Probably. Abra and Gliscor. So that would be Psychic He's Ground. Bound? Either way, I think Bonesaw still got this. Like, here's the thing. Y'all know some of the cool stuff that's in the book that they removed? Like, the lion is a huge badass in the books. Really? Yes! Well, that, that's the thing, is, like, the irony of the characters is that the Scarecrow says he doesn't have a brain, but he's the one who comes up with the clever ideas, to which he, he does at least once in the movie. But, like, the, the lion's whole thing is he doesn't have courage, which but he steps up when he needs to. But like, he Pokemon. really just keeps running in the movie. Like, he never steps up. Yeah. That's my problem with the movie. That's my biggest problem with the movie. They took the most badass character in the book and made him the worst character in the movie. Hmm. I, mean, I like just like never... using psychic Pokemon. I just like it. Light the Shadow Reaper describe, uh, describing the fusion combinations. Mr. Mime is 50% fun clown or 50% nightmare fuel. Ugh. 
Like this. Slow King and Mawile. Mill Tank, 10% okay, 90% nightmare fuel. Pincer, 100% nightmare fuel. I think it's just being eaten. Yep. Turtle. Okay, so Steel Psychic. Yeah. Beautiful. And then, well, bye. Bobby Groot level 60. Great, 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 great. Yeah, Matthew Burris, the wizard, equipped the party with stuff to help fight the witch. Scarecrow had a gun. Tin Man hilariously had a wrench, even though he comes with an axe. And Honestly, the lion got a butterfly in that. Right axe. Uh, Oddish's body yeah. and Rhyhorn's head would be what type? The lion is also an actual lion in the book. Yeah, which which Carl said. But to be fair, like you're not doing that in 1939. Yeah, it even, a, even a guy in a costume on all fours, we're not Rock, doing that. Rock, fight! They also probably couldn't have done the Kali does back then, but you're doing great. Uh, yeah, I don't like, I don't care. We're fighting the, the scientist anyway. Uh, Mr. Video, okay. how long is the stream? We're going until we beat Blaine. But uh, oh, the reason why awesome. I love the Kali does are some of the coolest things in all of Oz, and they've never been in almost in any adaptation except normal. for the Japanese normal. anime. Psychic normal. It's psychic normal. Uh, good for psychic normal. Like, imagine something with the body of a bear, the head of a tiger, the musculature of a gorilla, and claws the size of swords. That's good shit. Psychic normal. Uh, I'll just bring out Bonesaw. And the, cow and the lion goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with two of these things. On a rickety-ass uh, log covering a ravine. Did you not... Stop that! Just, just, just doing this. Just, I'm so. Stop using that! Oh, oh sweet kiss. Ah. I have a flute. Fatuation confusion. Yeah, H. Pred. Yeah, the Emerald City was not actually Emerald, but, like, I forgive that for the sake of the movie, for the same reason they made the Silver Slippers Ruby Slippers, because they really to popped To be fair, they did on that in the later book, where they revealed that the uh, wizard had used some of the, uh, used a stolen spell to make the, uh, the Emerald City, which was originally actually made of Emeralds, into white marble, and then used glasses to trick everybody into thinking it was made out of Emeralds. Yeah, it, it Is this the only being... move you know?! <laughs> But yeah, it furthers his being a charlatan, but I'm okay with that in the movie because they wanted to show off the color and they still had the wizard be a charlatan, so it's fine. Yeah. Get a horse how many, a how many PowerPoints is how many PowerPoints is how many PowerPoints is copycat? I don't know. Oh come on! I have infinite PP, remember? Oh my god, you're right. We're gonna have to try to attack. Oh, uh, oh no. says, uh, thoughts on Oz the Great and Powerful. I've it, never seen it. You haven't it's, seen it, don't care. It's a Sam Raimi movie. I like Sam Raimi, but I just, I don't care. It's not a good... That applies it can't hurt you well because of your typing. Uh, yeah, the... but I just worry, like, like, like okay, we're, we're, we're... I'm just going to try Earth Power. If we hurt ourselves, we hurt ourselves. We won't hurt ourselves that badly. Here's my problem with the Oz the Green Powerful. It's a good movie. It's a good Sam Raimi movie. Oh, that's right. I didn't want to use it because because I might copycat my move. Okay. But it's okay. We're fine. We use Flamethrower instead because we'll... Because we'll... if it copycats, it won't do very much. But yeah, we're, we're fine. Just very annoying. Ooh, guillotine. Ah. It's so funny, but, but, ah. Oh. Punishment free double edge, though. Yeah, no, I'm not getting rid of double edge. No, it's. I like guillotine. I like the idea. I think it's funny. I think it's great for content, but I also want to win. Yeah. 
Yeah, KSR also says do not take it. Let's give guillotine the guillotine. Yeah. But my, my big problem of uh, Oz the Great Powerful is it's a good Sam Raimi movie, but for a movie based on Oscar Zoroaster Phaedric, Isaac Norman Henkel, Emmanuel Yo, Ambrose Chum. Diggs, it really doesn't treat the character how he should be. Deoxys and and Smoochum. Oh, good. Uh, Deoxys, so psychic. Ice, or just pure psychic? Deoxys. And Smoochum? Yeah. Because it makes Oz into a good person. Yeah, psychic ice. <laughs> oh my gosh. And the one thing... yellow flute again, just get rid of our, our, our confusion here. Okay, no, thing, no, wizard... no for super, 20 levels higher. Okay, good. And the one thing about Oz you can say that's true until he meets Dorothy is he was not a good person. He was a con man. Mime Rill. So Azurill and Mr. Mime. Potentially water, but I think... But I th oh, she might be normal. Yeah. Because uh, it... If it's a wait, no, it's a double L. That would mean it's not. Which ones have the double L? Which ones have the I don't know. L? I don't care. I'm just having Bone Saw kill it. Yep, it's a zero L. So yeah, it would be psychic. It would be psychic fairy. Now that matters much. Well, we're double edging. We're gonna kill it. Uh, like Chris, like he wasn't a full-on villain, but he was well, just a constant con man. He did trick a guy into going into a place that erases your memory. Uh, and then kidnapped his daughter and sold the daughter to a witch after turning the daughter into a boy. Okay, he's a bad guy. Oh, what? What did I just hear? I just didn't hear. hear That's what, what the Wizard of Oz did. That's his prequel story in the books. He tricked Ozma's father into going into a place that erases your memory. How many types are not very effective against fire-type Pokemon? Waited for the queen to die and then kidnapped the baby. Grass. Fire. Very? No, no, very effective against, uh... Not very effective is what they said. It said not very effective. Oh, not very effective. Did it say not very? It said not very effective. Not very effective against fire would be grass, bug... Grass, fire, fairy, anything else? Uh, bug. Bug, so four. Uh, is ice not very effective against fire? I want to say it isn't, but but don't quote me on that, so that, but that'd be five. It's either uh, four or five. It's either four or five. Let's do five. Uh, it's Wrong! We're verifying to it's four! It's six? Yeah. Apparently, bug, steel, fire, grass, ice, and fairy. Okay, yeah, steel no, that makes sense, yeah. Forgetting. Forgot steel, forgot steal. Ah. Uh. Caterpie and Deoxys. That's amazing. I want one. Wow, it's faster than me. I'm 18 it levels lower. Well, the Yoxus is one of the fastest Pokemon. I suppose. And, and yo, know, Silent Hill is not exactly a speedy, but still. But Super yeah, power. in the books, until Dorothy and the Wizard of Oz, which was the... Ooh, tempting, wanna... but but I think we're going to skip out on this. I want to say Dorothy and the Wizard was the... The superpower or... basically is just like a one-hit, you know, hopefully kill them in one kind of thing if we're losing attack and defense from it, so... Give up on that. If we didn't lose any stat changes, that'd be worth it, but we do. Yeah, I think Dorothy and the Wizard was the fourth book. Until Dorothy and the Wizard, the fourth book of Oz, um, the Wizard was kind of an asshole. Dorothy and the Wizard was literally his redemption book. Which TM, yeah, which TM contains the move Tombstoner? The hell if I know. Tombstoner? <laughs> so I I, here's, the, here's the thing. This is this is a question from the original gym, which was which was false because the move Tombstoner didn't exist. The problem is this is a custom made fan game. That's what I'm saying. I'm going to say none. I want to say none as well, but 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 There's it wouldn't surprise the me if they list. added Tombstoner. There's no nothing on the TM list. Yeah, Ooh. it's still false. They could have added a movie called Tombstoner though. If it was called Tombstoner, then it would have been a TM420 uh, or something. <laughs> Again, the randomizer replacing fire with psychic. Psychic is weak against H2O. That is pretty good. Well, I can't think if I'm ice cold and wet. TM42069. <laughs> <laughs> 
Nine so we gotta. Eight. So we drink. We drink water to get rid of psychic powers. Water's its weakness. Far fetched oh. and ab and cadabra. Ooh. Well, that worked, it worked real well against Sadako. Ooh, is it no, normal I... type now? Far fetched and cadabra. Is that is that is that psychic normal or psychic flying? Hold on a minute. Psychic uh, flying. Let's see. Far fetched. Cadabra. Hard to be psychic when you're drowning. <laughs> well, Flying psychic. Flying psychic, yeah. Flying psychic, so Shadow Ball should still work then. I'm pretty sure that, I don't think the water actually stopped Sonico. Mods, I'm very nervous. I'm going to the doctor tomorrow for physical. What's your advice to deal with nervousness? Self nervous. Uh, for a physical, I wouldn't be too worried. It's just, you know, is it just going to evaluate your current physical shape? Yeah, it's like it's just a checkup. All normal birds only get flying when fused. That's weird. So, Duosian and Shedinja, so psychic flying, I want to say. Uh, no, Shedinja would be, uh, wait, no. Yeah, Shedinja's, um, a ghost bug, so. Either way, Silent Hill still got this. It's either psychic ghost or... Like a ghost. Ghost. Wait. And, it's and it's got Wonder Guard. Except that, except he should be super effective. Uh, uh, Tyler Hill's half. If it's like a ghost and flamethrower, it wouldn't be super effective. Oh, because it's not bug anymore. Okay, you're right. I don't know what it is now. I Dead. had a heart attack. For a second there, I thought, yeah, obviously it doesn't have have only one HP. Yeah, so uh, I get ghost video. not bugged, that's why it didn't work. My bad. Uh, uh, Mr. Video, I'd love to see you make a review of the Ghostbusters manga. I re I read it recently and, and loved it. There's a manga? Yes. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me, but I, I should track that down. Same. Uh, the reason I'm nervous to go in is because I'm afraid the doctor will tell me the bad news of my health. Well, y here's the thing. You got you, Sometimes you just I understand it's not exactly perfect, but sometimes you just got to power on through because, you know, the uncertainty in some ways is worse than actually knowing that something is is, is wrong. Yeah. Like, you could, you could, like, like, you'll stress yourself out to an early grave just because you don't know. So it's better just go in there, get the news, then at least if there is bad news, you can actually plan around what to do around it. Versus the uncertainty, which will be, which will be much more stressful. I know that's, that, that that may not be exactly helpful for you. I'm sorry if that's the case, Captain Avenger, but that's my advice. It is better to know because then you can like be like, okay, this is bad, this is a problem, but here's how we fix it. And that can give a confidence boost. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, like uh, every single time I get good news here in the hospital about my condition, I, get be I feel better. Hmm. All right, you're going to need Burn Helix, because I'm going to read your mind and use your deepest insecurities. All right, Silent Hill has been carrying us through the whole gym. I think we, we can keep them up front. No problem, Captain Venture. I hope hope that's helpful, and I hope for good news for you. But let's Same. take on, let's see if we need Burn Heal. I am Blaine, leader of Cinnabar Gym. My psychic Pokemon will incinerate all challengers. Okay, so they're pyrokinetics. I was kind of oh. hoping that when you showed up, he would be like, I am Blaine, my po- Oh, it's you. <laughs> How many Ghostbusters comics are there aside from the ones that Linkar reviewed? Oh, there's a, a lot. lot. Uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, now comics, Ghostbusters books, a lot of IDW ones. There's oh, yeah, that's right. We got we, we can only have four Pokemon. So Silent Hill is up front. Bonesaw has been carrying us. Uh, I feel like Angry Bird and Sorita. Sorina oh, as like last because it's poison type, but but the grass typing has has helped us. All right, Sorita, yeah, because Bobby is gonna be weak. Skimono just doesn't have anything that can actually be good against psychic, so I think think we're good holding off there. There's an entire Ghostbusters like miniseries where the entire city of New York was transported to hell. Mm. Ooh. A lot of delays in the game for some reason. So Rita has crunch. Yeah, that's the other reason why. All right, let's do this. I think there's also a Ghostbusters Transformers crossover comic. Uh, I did a review of that one. I know. I was trying to make a joke. 
All right, so Tenacruel and Executor. Gotta be what in the world? Water Psychic, Water Poison. Uh, so Poison Psychic or Water Psychic? It's gotta be Water Psychic, I think. Which is bad for Silent Hill, unfortunately. Leaning towards switching over to Angry Bird and then using uh uh, then using Energy Ball. Yeah, that might be a good idea. Yeah, Water Psychic. Oh, what the hex? Alright, Energy Ball. Sludge Wave. Oh, okay, this could, this could be bad. Okay, oh. we're good, we're good. Oh. I think we're both gonna heal this round, so so I'm just gonna Hyper Potion. The problem, of course, being that I that, that Angry Bird is weak to... Is, is, is weak to, to, like, you know, some things. Okay, good, 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 good. We got this, we got this. We're gonna, we're gonna be fine. We're handling this. I could fly, although it's no. I actually know it. Energy ball's better. Energy ball's yeah, actually ball better. Yeah, energy ball is better. Yeah, hex will do oh. some damage, but not that much damage. Yeah. Okay. So another energy ball. We got this. I just did the calculations in my head, by remembering the moves and stuff. If that would have got a higher roll, that would have been a one one hit kill. Uh, if also we weren't ten levels higher. Chanfrig, so Chansey and Giraffering, normal psychic. Now I meant the energy belt could have done a one hit kill on them. Yeah. We just got a low roll both times. Then again, it could, then again, it could be a Chandelure. I don't know, actually, I, actually, hold on, let's see. Actually, you're right, it could be Chandelure. There's two chances to it. Um, What was the other one again? Uh, Giraffering, so. Yeah, Giraffering, hold on. So it's gonna be psychic regardless. So, so either normal psychic or or ghost psychic. Bonesaw might be a good choice there, then. Either way, I think Silent Hill can handle this. Let's find out. Oh, I hope I didn't do us. No, no, I, th I think I can handle it either way. Okay, yeah, it's chance. Okay, good. Oh God, no. So, take for a tail. So, unfortunately, yeah, Shadow Ball's out, but we still got Flamethrower, we still got Earth Power, we still got Giga Drain. I'm gonna need you to kill this thing. So I'm gonna go for the stab. Maybe burn it if we're lucky. What did it fling, did it fling at, us? at us? I don't know what it did. It took its held item and threw it at us, but I'm not sure what that held item was. Ah. Oh, no. Ah. Charcoal and threw charcoal at us. You just made us more powerful. It did say it was super effective, though, didn't it? it, was, it was what? Real. What's he doing? Oh, good. Nice. So that's a psychic dragon. Yep. Oh no. No, we're good. We got this. Shadow Ball is still going to be super effective against it, and we're 14 levels higher. Well, Boom. bye. Chancey makes it a special tank. Okay. You know what? That's fair. Okay, so if it's normal, so so if it's normal psychic, then Bone Saw should be able to handle this. That's what I said earlier. <laughs> you think humanoid Pokemon have rights to just have animals and Pokemon? I think they're still just animals. Bone Saw, double edge. Oops. Not that we really needed it, but still. Dio top. Okay, so Deoxys and Hitmon top. So that will be psychic fighting. Yep. Honestly, I feel like Bone Saw can handle this. Yeah, and it'll yeah. also be a very fast Pokemon against fighting against you. Hmm. Ah, that was intimidate. Okay, psychic fighting is what it is. Yep. yep. So I think one more double edge. Got this. Come on, Bone Saw. Dead. Dead headbutt. Did a lot of damage, but I think we're gonna do more. Oh God. Okay. What? Oh, right. Hitmon, you got your, uh, um, Hitmon top has pretty decent defense, and, uh, it's also used Intimidate on you. I know, the Intimidate, but but even then, I expect to do a little bit more than that. Alright, uh, so I'm gonna heal Bone Saw just to see what it does. How bad is Psychic? Psychic is really bad! Yikes! we are taking uh... damage on everything else, though, which is what worries me.
Uh, I don't want to lose anybody. I think Angry Bird would probably be our best bet, considering it resists both Psychic and Fairy moves. Yeah. But the thing is, it's taking damage is what worries me. Let me see. Let me see its. Uh, let me see its stats real quick. How's its special defense? Well, now Silent Elf immunity to psychic fighting. It would have immunity to fighting. It wouldn't have immunity to psychic though. And and, and we're not great special defense. Okay, we have terrible special defense. So oof. We do have better special defense on Silent Elf. So Silent Elf theoretically could tank a psychic. Yeah, it might. Well, that's kind of funny. Bone Saw's worst enemy: a fighter in a red and blue costume. You're right. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, I just noticed that now. Angry We're Bird would resist it will resist moves, but it has terrible special defense. Silent Hill would also resist, but has better special defense. But it also is super slow. And it could know, and and Deoxys could know some dark moves or something like that. I don't think Deoxys has any dark moves in its learn set. Mm. I could be wrong. ROG, yo, do you answer a question from the chat? Sometimes I do. Uh, I guarantee we'll read off super chats, but but regular chats, it's you know, it's a crapshoot. Go with Silent Hill. Alright, I'm going for Silent Hill. Fingers crossed. Using psychic, we resist. Good, okay. Let me heal up. A little scary, but we got this. Okay, Silent yeah, Hill no. has this. I think Psychic, Psychic is its best move. Shadow Ball. Is that Headbutt? Okay, good. Oh, Flame Body, great! That could go cut its attack. Yes! All right. Woo! Was that its last Silent one, or was there Hill. one more? Silent Hill. Yes! And we did it! See, even when we're, like, when we are over-leveled, there's still, like, like actual tension here. Oh, Absolutely. I have burnt out. You have earned the volcano badge from my psychic types. <laughs> I have psychic out. I have psychic out. Heightens the abilities of your Pokemon. Here you can have this too. Yay, fire blast whenever you use it. Ooh, what a blast. You're doing it wrong. You shriek silent hell. Yeah, look at that. And three premium wonder trade tickets. Sweet. We're probably not going to use those for a while. Yeah. Mental burnout, I've been there. Hey, there you go. There you go. There is a hole here. It's gone now. <laughs> yeah, all right. All right, let's heal up, and then we're going to call it a night. Going to psych you out in the end. All right. Classic Watcher, Blaine has been slain. Metaphorically, that is. E. All right, well, I want to thank you all for joining us this evening. Uh, we defeated Blaine, so we are actually made some progress now. We'll deal with Team Rocket next week. Probably find more stuff to fuse. <coughs> want to thank all my wonderful guests for joining us this evening. Thank you, Minspy. No problem. Thank you, Lotus Prince. Yeah, thank you for having me. And uh, on my channel, I'll be streaming Sweet Code and Tactics tomorrow. And my Let's Play of Chrono Trigger starts on Tuesday. Thank you, Zandrew. Uh, Sorry. glad to be here. Also, uh, we'll be streaming, uh, this Friday. Me and friends are going to be playing Splatoon 3. And thank you, Eliza. It's always great being here. And also, I just realized a joke we could have made while fighting Blaine that we forgot to make. What's that? that mean? David Blaine. Hey! Oh! <laughs> maybe that'll be the, the, the uh, maybe that'll be the episode title. But otherwise, thank you all. David Remember Blaine. to buy Comicron One Models or Robomats or any other merch from the Atop the Fourth Wall store envy. Keep an eye out for the Marvel vs. DC review coming within the next few days. Script is done. I need to film it. It's going to be a long boy. Otherwise, have yourselves a good evening. Thank you for coming out and supporting, yo, us. <coughs> have a good night.